Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the purriest cats. Oh, he's purring so loud. Oh, he's so happy to be here I on the know. show. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> uh, tonight we have a very special show. We are going to play through the first half first of the half. ABBUC Software Contest and 2022 entries. Cool. So I'll explain what this contest is about in a little bit. But first, welcome, everyone. Um, the games we're going to be playing tonight, Retro D Jump, D-S-C-H-U-M-P, Jump. Yeah, it's a different way of spelling. Uh, Dark Keep, Pac-Men Evolution, Die Heritage Edition, Arcadia, Bunny Hop and Moon Quest. Cool. So seven out of the fourteen. We're gonna play seven. Okay. half of them this show and half of them probably the next show. Cool. Yes, on cool. Tuesday. Um, I want to welcome. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Uh, Al Nafar, Arkham H, Arbs, Gar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari H, B R Pocock, Kaffman 2D, Charles Madruga, Madruga, Charles Sedani Mal, Charles Wheel and Colonel Lamb, mm. Cubanis Modani, PC Drexel, Doctor Mook, House, Discerno Soft, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jure Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer JRM. Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invade Lambda Express, Colonel TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari 969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Johnny Wood, Mr. Fix, Nostalgia, Pac Man Plus, Pack Rabbit Quag, our, our Anschwitz, RC70, Render, Ghost, Pendless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Smoked, 3D4, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, Steps, Toy Pig, Teleprompter, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K, T, Foes, Track MD, 2600, Vitoko, 8 Bits, X, Ken X, and just before the show, Atari 800 XL Rules subscribe Yay, thank you everyone thank you. if you want to subscribe <laughs> just hit subscribe and yeah. uh it's a little checkbox if you have amazon prime and yep. it's free so yep. you know uh send your money this way instead of into <laughs> nothing yeah um instead of into amazon let's see if the poll <laughs> program is working i tried i set it up a couple hours ago and it was working and now it's not working again so we'll have to try it later in the show the or the next mm. time it's too bad it's it's okay it's not relevant to tonight's games okay so well, we can be it will push it to the next postponed one. Yeah. yeah that's okay that's good um, yeah he's happy you aren't trying to put a bow on i know he's he was just not impressed i kind of ran in the door eight ran downstairs and the cats are like hey <laughs> they're so happy <laughs> they're very me. happy they're like yeah, happy this is this is treat time it's treat time um the feedback on costumes was oh. very positive oh good <laughs> um vh said he commented on facebook about the costumes toss a coin to your twitcher <laughs> Uh, nice. <laughs> very clever very play good, on words. Very clever, yeah. Uh, and Michael <laughs> Mozejko commented that we should have changed our name titles on the stream for oh, our characters. Oh, we could have, yes. And I said missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh, the weather up here is not great. It's, uh, what did they call it? An atmospheric river at the moment? Yes. Just water streaming through the streets. Lots of water. It uh, dipped to freezing yesterday. Yeah, I think next week it's going to get a little cooler too. And possibly snow. Ooh. No, no, no. Snow I doubt days. it. I doubt it. Not but yet. Not yet. Yeah, it's too, too early, early for that snow stuff. Feels too early for snow. Um, there's some information on the hokey chips. That's interesting. Mm. I thought I'd bring up. Um, in the Atari Age forums, Bratwurst asked, will Hokey receive firmware updates through the concerto somehow while it's installed in the cart? If that's the case, quite cool. And um, Batari, Fred Quimby, answered, mm. yes. And since not every Hokey user will use a concerto, firmware updates will be delivered through special 7800 binaries so that other flash carts, Dragonfly, Mateos, and or any other cartridge board supporting Pokey could also theoretically update Hokey's firmware, which I find incredible and fascinating yeah. that you can upgrade the firmware on the sound chip with any of these carts. Like, they did not anticipate updating firmware, as mm -hmm. far as I know. On the chip itself, you mean? Yeah, it's somehow yeah. delivering updates, firmware updates to a chip, oh. a sound chip yeah. on the flash card. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's magic to me. <laughs> I don't know how it's receiving this information. You, I, I guess it's waiting for a certain signal that's not used for sound. Mm. And instead of telling it, oh, play this sound, 
it's going, oh, receive this information, not as sound information, but as firmware information. Mm -hmm. It's like some certain address that it's waiting for. Ivory Tower Collections just said, well, it makes sense because each card is still accessing the chip in the same manner as they just treat it like a normal pokey. So they all talk to the chip in the same basic manner, I suspect. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that's kind of what I thought it might happen. It's just receiving information. Yeah. It doesn't care what it is. And just when it gets takes it. Yeah. specific information, it goes, yeah, I'll take that as firmware and just dumps it in. That's, mm. that's really cool. Mm. Um, so talking about the ABBUC um contest here is uh well here's the results but Ooh, um that's decent prize money <laughs> pretty good um, i'll this take is, that this is in german but Especially i'll translate in it to english yeah um the ABBUC AGM was held on Saturday, October 29th, and all the votes submitted were counted and the winner determined. Mm -hmm. A total of 59 votes were cast, and the distribution resulted in the final standings listed here in the table, which you guys can see. Um, congratulations to Bunny Hop team for winning first place. Yay! Um, in addition to the many participants, we would like to thank the members who actively participated in their votes. The Atari community got some great uh, programs again through the competition, and I hope there'll be such a lively participation again next year. Cool. Um, from Holger. Um, so, talking about the prize money, mm -hmm. so ABBUC is a magazine. Okay. That just published their 150th edition. Wow. Of the magazine. 150th edition. Edition of Not the 150th year, or is it that? No, no. <laughs> I, I was like, so, what hmm. What kind of magazine is this? I yeah, it's been around that long. Going back to no, mechanical computers. No, 150th edition. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm like... It's, the, like it's the, it's, and then we had an interview with, with Charles Babbage. Exactly. And, uh, and he told us all about the Babbage the machines working on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there was a long lull <laughs> yes. just talking about the Babbage machine. Uh, <laughs> mein Deutsch ain't ist night so, so good. good. <laughs> mine, mine neither. Um... <laughs> So the to monetary the abacus, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, abacus. the uh the awards actually I'll I'll talk a bit about the ABBUC. There's about 600 members. Okay. It start it stands for Atari Bit Biter User Club. Oh, I like it's that. It's kind of cute. That is cute. Uh, founded in 1985 mm. in Germany. Mm. The longest continually published computer magazine in the world. Nice. They think. They it's think. hard to prove otherwise. Yeah. I mean is 2600 magazine a computer magazine or is it a hacker magazine they talk about computers in every issue the 2600 is it uh, when did that start 1984 oh really ironically big brother 1984 uh, so it's it, one year yeah. before it and they haven't stopped as far as i know but it's not a computer magazine it's a hacking magazine so they talk yeah. about hacking everything uh, yeah, but, not just computers. So, so, I, yeah, fair so I think, uh, yeah, the first mag dedicated to the advocacy. <laughs> um, so I think this qu probably qualifies, and so many magazines have gone away over the years mm. uh, for computers because big rise in the 80s, then a big die off in, you know, and of like 8 bit computer mm. magazines. And then now there's no magazines <laughs> anymore, pretty much. Well, yeah, not and, fi not in physical form, really. And they just the 150th issue was their last issue of distributing discs. Mm. So they distributed disc every edition, mm. all 150 of them. And they're like, yeah, we're we're done. It's too much trouble making discs. Um, so that's that's interesting. Would you what would you say has replaced magazines like that? Like I guess forums, but forums are more casual. Just, just blogs? people posting. I don't no, know. blogs are dead. Well, they are kind of dead. Like just um, people just posting on social media on Twitter. It's it's I just guess so. It's just random. But people. like there is still media out there. There is, but I don't. Yeah, but think media pay use attention. social media now. Like yeah. you know, like like people who are more formally writing articles. Yeah. I think it's just Publish more dispersed, it differently. Yeah. and they get people get information from more sources. Yeah. Sorry, that just made me think about that. You know, like, there, there are like, like there are magazines, there are groups in, of people in that, online form, but they're yeah. they're not as popular, obviously, as as, as things once were. No, but, because um, now people can do whatever they want. They can publish yeah. anything. They can write their own articles. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. 
Um, and from their website, <laughs> we, the Atari Bit Biter User Club, are the largest club in the known universe dedicated to the preservation and promotion of Atari 8-bit computers. Mm. They're all about the Atari 8-bit computer line. Um, we promote the development of new hardware and software through annual competitions. Mm. Fly the flag at events related to retro computers and beyond. Repair and upgrade existing hardware, run our own public domain mail order business, and publish a quarterly club magazine which is sent free of charge to all of our members worldwide and is also available as a download in English. And I think membership's like 30 euros a year, mm -hmm. something like that. So with mm -hmm. your membership, you get, you all get access things. to all mm -hmm. programs, mm -hmm. like programs before they're released to the public, and you get the magazine as well. And this ABBUC contest only members can vote in it and they get early access to these games mm. to vote in them and then they just got released on october 29th or they're allowed to release them some still haven't been released from the contest yet i don't know if they're going to um but we're gonna play as many as get released <laughs> um i think there's like four that haven't been four or five still not yet okay yeah um oh we can switch away so that's that's the list of the winners um so actually so the prize money mm. there's a total of 2850 euro up for grabs in the contest there were 14 uh game entries and i think two utility entries as well um actually you can see them there so there's yeah 16 entries okay um of this total, 850 euro are shared amongst the first three places. Gotcha. And then 2,000 euro are divided <laughs> by the amount of points given uh, respective entry in relation to the number of <clears throat> points given to all participating. Okay. And this will give a calculated share. Okay. So no matter, you can... That makes sense. If, even if you enter the worst game ever, you probably still get, like, look at that, 89 euro hey, for the last place. a little place. bit, a little bit for your development. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's, like, the, the qualifications, like, it's it's well, not that Do you strict. pay to vote? Is it, like, well, is that how no. the point, points work, you know? You're a member and you can vote. Okay, so technically so you do have to pay. Yeah. If you don't pay anything, you can't vote. Gotcha. But members can pay. Uh, <laughs> members can vote, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, first place, 500 euros plus calculated share. So they got $159, 159.59, uh, 59 cents, uh, euros extra on top of that uh, divided from the share. So that's uh, very interesting. So I think a lot of their subscription money mm. goes towards the contest. I think almost all of it. Um, whatever's left over from, uh, you know, making the magazine and sending out the magazine, running their forum and web page, right? Because mm -hmm. um, they said they had 600 members. So you do like say yeah. 600 times whatever. Yeah. It is 30 cool. euros. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. Um, so let's see. Yeah. And that's it for the news. So let's get on to the games. We're going to be playing seven games today, starting with Retro Jump. I'm going to pronounce it as. Retro Jump. That's uh, not an English string of letters <laughs> that really makes sense. De Shump. Jump. De Shump. Uh, D-S or D-S. D-S-8. S-C-H. Yeah. D-S. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I made a generic cartridge for it's us to play times. with. Yum, okay. yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's yum, yum, yum. yum. Oh, yo, is it yum, yum, yum time? Good timing. There you go. Oh, why is that so dark? Oh, I think I know why. I will fix that as the cat cam. Because I put a filter on it. Ah. Oh, no, I didn't. What's going on? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I, okay. I put a filter somewhere on it. Oh. Cam. There. Oh, I think I found the filter. No, that's not it. Why is the cat cam so dark? I don't oh, know. Well. That's funny. It's okay. You can still see them. Yeah, you can yep. still see them. One that's for funny. you. <laughs> One for you. Thank you. Carl G. Carl G. <laughs> the great cat walks away with his tree. Oh, he's been he's been pretty aggressive. Aggressive with oh, his no. treats. Oh no. Tari's right on the bell today. Yeah, Tari's like, Hit it. I need treats. Okay, you and you, you, you. There. Is that better? Can't see the bell. Good kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. 
Gotta so hit it right. I'll talk about the cartridge on the left. There. Okay. Oh, a little so harder. That, um, a that little harder. animation on the cartridge that says ABBUC, that was made by Tom, T H O M. He said, I had made a rainbow logo based on the ABBUC logo in Assembler. I implemented the logo as a character set. Mm. And what I did is ran it in emulation, recorded it, and then slowed it down to about 5% of the original oh, speed. Because cool. the original one was like super flashy and it would be just really distracting. Yeah, Sprite's tail is fluffy, getting super fluffy. Oh my god, why is it so dark? Yeah, I'm curious to see how oh, fluffy he gets as he gets bigger. I, I found it. Because his tail is like bigger than the rest of his body. That's for oh, you. Oh, I didn't find it. What? Hit it harder, harder. Harder Sprite. There we go. Good cute. I found it. There you go. You found Yay, it? Hey, that's better. Okay. Yeah, it is a dust wand uh, tail. <laughs> he he oh, helps with cool. dusting around the house. He does a little bit. Yeah. Oh, of course he adds to it as well. So. Yeah, he harder, makes the dust, harder. but he's self-cleaning the dust. <laughs> go ahead, try yeah. again. Try again. He's like crossing over his paw. There you he's, go. You're he's left-handed. He it needs Maybe to be on his, his. Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, over here. How about that? Oh, I need more. Now. There we go. Oh. Oh. Well, we should get on with the games. Well, I'll give a, a couple more. Couple more. Okay. Hello, Neo Media. Oh my <laughs> goodness, cat. Hey, Neo Media. Couple more. There you go. Um, harder. Smack it hard. So the first game, Smack Retro it. Jump. There you go. <laughs> um, is by Peter Hines, also known as Retro Coder. Gotcha. Uh, did the coding graphics and Michael Yesplowski. Yes, 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 <laughs> uh, Miker did the music. Um, it's a 13K game and it is actually a port of one of my favorite C64 games. Oh. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I missed part of the broadcast. Oh, this broadcast? There you go. Oh, Last one. Just, just a bit of news. You can rewind it and sum uh -huh. up some of the treats. Some treats. Okay. Alrighty. So let's cats get... are now treated. They're gonna run away now. Yeah, they're like we got ours. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is under the leg. Good of the camera. Let's See if I can get it out without disturbing it too much. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mm. Let's get on with it. So, retro. Jump, jump, jump. Please, there you go. Oh, retro jump. Uh, move the ball to stay on the surface. Build up the power bar to make super jumps with the fire button. Hmm. More power means further jump. Fire and pull or push lets you go backwards. Eh. Okay. Hit a, hit a, uh, more like pulling backwards stays okay. where you are. You can't actually go backwards make yourself go backwards. Okay. Hit a switch to change a level tile. Jump into a hole to warp to a different location. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there are 30 action tiles. Find out what they do by jumping okay. on them. Hit the tiles in the middle for action. Collect points for every tile you hit. Find the end tile to finish the level. Made for the ABBUC Software Contest 2022. Fire to start. Oh. So you're not playing yet. You're oh. picking the level. So I would start with level one. Follow the hint tiles and find the end. I loved this game on the C64. It did have a diff... Oh, you didn't want to do that just yet. So you have a boost up there. No, you want to use the boost to jump over gaps. Oh, not... well, there was a gap, but... Oh, okay. Oh, you missed that. The Whatever hint. that was. <laughs> So, uh, the original game, what they said it? it's ported from, uh, comes from many names, including Jump and Shump. Uh, it was made for DOS uh, in 1993. Okay. But the one I know is called Bounder. Okay. From 1985. And it was put out on just every platform. All the 8-bit platforms. Oh, oh no, not quite. You have you to didn't hold push it, it for longer. Yeah. You have to push it a little bit longer. So you have three lives left. Oh, oh, right down. Just missed it. I lost my power. I didn't have You can power. go around. I'm not quite... And you can push ahead. Oh, it's ahead. not too bad. 
but if you pull back, you stay in the same spot. Gotcha. So you have to. So if you pull back now, you'd stay and you'd be able to go right over. Uh oh. Yeah, you should have landed on that because it would make you go backwards. I. But you have to be very. Oh, I see. I can and move a little middle. bit. I can move a little bit. I don't quite get this. The triangles, if they do anything. Um, they make you go in the direction that they point. Oh, okay. So you're already going forward. You're not landing on the middle of it. I don't unfortunately. Understand. You can't, you're stuck. That's a dead end? Or can you get uh, past that? If you land in the middle of that tile that points backwards, the, it'll start scrolling backwards. Really? Oh, but yeah. you have to hit right in the middle. Yeah, you, you miss those. Oh. oh, no, no, it's making a sound. But I'm, no, that's me holding the fire button oh, and don't. using my boost up. Oh, that doesn't do anything oh. unless you're going forward. See? There you go. You probably wanted to hit that uh, square. So you might want to go back and do it again and hit the square because it'll probably fill in some... Mm. I think it really wants you to hit that square. On what the, square? Uh, over to the right. Really high up on the screen. Ooh. That square. There you go. Um, no, just, just once. Oh, you turned it off again. I know, it's very hard. Oh <laughs> god, I can't go back to it now. Oh my no, god, can. that's so yeah, hard. Can. No, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't go, go to, backwards. You go to the other thing. No, that's... And then go hit it, and then you go backwards again. Um, uh, the C64 game uh, was called oh, uh, Bounder. But you can't, you, you can't hit it twice. Oh, you have to jump over it. I don't understand. Where am I supposed to be going? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm confused. <laughs> well, I don't know. Legitimately confused. I, I haven't seen it when it's turned on when you're down in the lower uh, part of it. I, so. I, you're not helping me here. What am I supposed <laughs> to be doing? Uh, hit the butt, hit that thing once. How do I hit it once? Go on it and then jump over it. I jump on it. Oh, oh I missed Jesus. it. Jesus. <laughs> you have to hit it very precisely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Snicklin says, note there's an updated version of this game too, but with added dynamics. Oh, is that downloadable? I didn't see that he posted. There you go. There we go. That's what see, I want to see. There, that's what appears. Uh, Neo Media says, I'm finally getting an Atari 8 bit computer. It's a 600 XL expanded memory of 64K. Very nice. That'll let you play most of the games. There are some games that require 128K. Then there's like super crazy games that need one meg and a whole bunch of VBXE upgrades. And um, that's what I'm looking forward to getting. What happened? Not sure why I turned you around. That's kind of weird. But anyway, I got there. Yay! Yay! Cool. You want to so try one? So it's kind of a puzzle. Um, yeah, I've got more to read out, okay. but um, no, no, keep no, it's going. Fine. Um, I wrote this game in the early 90s for the PC. Oh my god. He's the person who made this game made the original one <laughs> in the 90s for DOS and had good feedback via shareware sales. Thought about doing a modern remake but got into 6502 code again. But here we have it. Retro Jump. Why jump and not jump? I'm pronouncing them both the same. Well, there's a game called Jump that I typed in from a magazine many, many moons ago. So the German distributors thought Jump would sound like Jump, so the name stuck. So pronouncing it in German sounds like Jump, which which makes a lot of sense. Oh boy, that looks like it's going to crack. Cool. It's oh no! I'm oh, dead. You're gonna have to press the button. Go. There you go. Nice. Oh. What? Hmm. Interesting. Hint. Hmm. Maybe you have to break it. Ah, oh, you do. That's where the end is. How is the whole brew scene for the Atari 8-bit computer? Quite decent. Um, I keep track of all the uh, homebrew releases for the Atari computers. Um, 
Let me see if I can quickly add it up. Oh no! What happened? Did All you my have... lives are. Oh, All of them? Yeah. Oh no. That was level four, so if okay. you want to start. I can continue on, level on with four. level four. Okay. Um, I can't paste this into the. So I would say there's about. <clears throat> Hundred games this year wow. released on the or more. It's quite a lot. That list. Mm. Uh, okay, so level four. Let's go to level four. Did you make it to the end of that one? Uh, level four? No, I died. Okay. So I haven't. What does that do? I was trying to. Oh my god! Yeah, and then I died. That's <laughs> oh, exactly. No. I was like, what? What? How do I hit this? That like and pushes you dead. to the side. Don't, yeah. Don't go on those. Well, <laughs> maybe there's a reason too, but. I don't know. Maybe. Oh God, what do I do? You have to go in it twice, who knows? Can you help the chat? No, you've got, um, Snicklin is saying you do a great job of keeping track of them all. There's a lot of games and updates to them that you have to keep up with, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, especially since, oh my God, what is happening? Oh, you have to jump backwards maybe. I have to go to that yeah. green one? Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna use all my lives up. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have used that. Okay. Oh god. This level is it's, it's a much challenge. harder. Yeah, it's a challenge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of. Well, thank you very much, Snickling. Yeah. Um. I mostly started those lists so for the Atari Homebrew Awards mm. so that I didn't have to scramble at the end of the year going through hundreds and hundreds of pages of posts. That makes sense. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, no. No! I'm just gonna go there. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> the end is always like towards the end, right? Oh, it's oh, the end is backwards. Oh, you went through. Oh, oh maybe okay. you have to just go through again. Some jumping power. No, I moved before. Oh, I oh. rolled off the edge. Back Bloop. to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Snicklin, aren't the graphics in this game amazing? Parallax it, scrolling is quite oh rare in 8-bit games. It, yeah. Yeah. It's very, very it nice. It looks really good. It plays really well. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, think, I like the tennis ball. <laughs> yep. It's the same nice tennis ball in nice. the. Oh god, I missed it. Which is nice that they provide a little thing. To yeah, go back. you get a little bit of a. Um. Yeah, in the um, '80s version of this well, game. The end is still up there. Oh. But you're so gonna I have just to... Need to. I need to go to that end somehow. Mm, maybe. I think I have to have make to more of around. a bridge. Possibly. Mm -hmm. The green things need to be activated. I think so. I think I yeah, I need to go on all the green things. Oh. What oh what? It will it will draw you backwards. Can you jump over that distance? I don't think so. I think I need to do go something. Go around there? Yeah. I think I just need to activate all the well, green things. Technically you, if you go backwards you can hit the end. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think you need to go the end and then come back. Because you miss the end going because forward. Because you have to, you have to, yeah, maybe. Get to the top to warp to the end. Okay. It did provide a little hint at the beginning. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, oh those are danger. things you don't want to go on, I think. Oh, it's, it's awesome that you can see through them. It doesn't... Oh. Noises upstairs. I know, I heard that too. My ears pierced. Her, her pierced? cat's <laughs> ears pierced. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, oh my god. No! Oh, oh no! no! It's going the wrong it way. It's going the wrong way. Oh, there's way. the end. Oh, I think I have to open that up somehow. Mm -hmm. You probably have to find a hole to fall into that gets you there. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Interesting. This is very well made. Yeah. The le levels are really good. The uh, one criteria for the contest is that it has to be a game that's never been published anywhere before. Mm. I think that one just turns you around. 
those turn you around. Whatever. Yeah, whatever direction you're not going already. In the um, 1980s game, no, there's like things you have to dodge. Like there's enemies there you shooting go. at you. Here you go. Nice. No. Yay! Ooh, how much RAM? Uh, this is just a 64, uh, at least. I'm not sure on, because I have a 64K computer. Um, you can always run it in Altera and manually set the amount of RAM. Mm. Oh. It's like a puzzle this time. Yeah. At least I, I'm pretty sure you have to get Destroy these colored things. ones. Yeah. Um, Is there like permanent the switches? Sounds. How many games will you be showcasing tonight? Seven. Seven games. Seven, Seven out games. of the 14. I thought I'd divide them in half because, I mean, I love this game, so we're going to play through this. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of them are just like... More simple or... Oh my god. No. no. Back. If, if, the, if it gets to the top of the screen, there you go. It will reverse itself, okay, I've noticed. Okay, this is going to be... Oh, I want to go now. Oh god. Oof. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Safety. 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 No! 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 Oh! Okay. Well, I know how to do it now. <laughs> I just have to be very careful on that last area. Oh, no. I don't know if you want to... Oh, well. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I opened up a portal there. I, I, yeah, another one. I think that's one. maybe all I needed to do. We'll see. Kitten! What's your favorite of the games you've seen so far? Uh, we'll, we'll probably say that at the end, after we play them. Because yeah. I've, I've looked at all of them briefly, just to, you know, test them on machines, make sure I have... But I haven't seen them yet. I, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No. Oh. oh. I think you do have to. I do have hit, to get up there. Hit that little one so it reverts, so you have a bit more time. Yeah. <clears throat> the one on the left, sorry, closest to the top. So, last level. We're almost yeah. there. I know. <laughs> I know how to do it. Yep. I just need to do it. I'm gonna get both of these this time. All three. It destroys. Oh them no! Both. You don't want to get them all. I don't know. Well, no. you did fine last time. It makes them break. Yeah, it but turns but them then into you breakable. go. But you just keep going down. It yeah. might. Maybe if that uh, that warp is there, maybe it gets you closer to the end faster. Who maybe knows? Yeah. yeah. I do like this one a lot, but I'm very familiar with this one. Yeah. At least the mechanics. Uh, how how it plays. It's not it's, very cool. it's not quite the same game as as the one I. No, you have to hit. Oh. How did I do it? It's like pushing me back. Constantly. I think you have to be right to the top of the screen. You have to move right to the top of the screen and oh, go okay. boom, boom, boom very quickly because otherwise you're not going to have enough time to cover that distance. That would sort of there. make sense. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Like get up near the top because as, as, it's. Yeah. Because it's already pushing me back immediately. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, so far, this is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> and one plate. <laughs> kind of biased. I played Bounder so much. Mm. 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 No. It kind of freezes you in midair, doesn't Once it? Once it starts moving to the left, I need to get over. So, which one is this one? Nope. No! Oh no! I think you wanted the black one. Last time it switched them to good things. No, no. It, it no. no it turns. It, it breaks both of them. Last time they were broken and it turned them non-broken. Mm. It did. No. I think it. No, it it wasn't anything. You only hit one, mm. and then it turned it into a warp. Mm. So I think it, the order you hit them in. I have to get up. <gasps> Distracted. Sorry, I won't talk. <laughs> Kittens. Oh my goodness, what were you See, doing? See, they're both broken right now. What were... Oh, nice. So I have to make sure they're... I think it retains... It does retain. ...between lives. Yeah. Hi, little black kitten. Hi. Oh, kittens. I'm 
go come say hi? Well, I've got something over purr, top. Purr, purr, Always purring. Yes, you're very excited. You do like uh, Twitch, Twitch stream. Twitch time? Yeah. <laughs> lots of fun things happen. He gets played with. He gets lots of treats. Nice. Yes. I pressed my button. I guess I didn't have enough juice. Now I don't want to go on those because they're <gasps> proper. Ah, oh, damn it. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm getting better each time. Now I know what to do even better. See, I don't want to touch them now, except that one. Now I have no boost. Oh, those give me boost. <gasps> oh my goodness. So once you've gone through this once, those are gone. Mm -hmm. The super boost. That's probably why I was able to do it mm -hmm. one of the times. Because I had enough um, boost to get there. That That's makes sense. That's very tricky. That's interesting. Yeah. That... Restricted. No! No! Ugh. No! Last time... You did have to hit one of them to push you back. Yeah. So I think you you d you kind of want to bounce forward, let it come back, then bounce forward and bounce over, kind of thing. If that makes sense. Oh, you won't have the boost now. I know. I'm well, just so take it slow. Trouble. Take it slow. Uh, it, you can't. It's constant yeah, you can. scrolling. You can, you can stay stay to the back oh, and then you know, rush to I the front. What I can do is stay at the top and keep going back and forth, back and forth, building up. Yeah. My boost. There you go. But it's all actually almost full. Yeah, I think that's the key. Oh, you hit the end really fast, though. Oof. Oh, you gained something there. Just stay there. But you don't gain <laughs> anything. Oh no. You have to do here. No, you're further back now. Yeah, but at least I've got oh, no. some powers. I wonder. Hmm. Mm. Do I have to go down that hole, or is a way to get over going you back? You have to go down that hole. Yeah. I think it says you have to go to the end to get back to the beginning, so oh, that's the hint at the beginning. There's true. no way to get over to that left side, I don't, I don't think. Okay, here we go. No. no. Oh. There you go. There. Oh, you have to get to that. And I'm not gaining <laughs> anything. You have to go on empty things. You have to jump. You have to move. Yeah, I know. You have to skip it. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. I can just pull it down without using anything. You're not, you're not boosting, though. No. Yeah. Oh, these aren't boosting me either. No. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Unfortunately. No, oh. Bounce once. You need uh, to I bounce tried. once. I just tried. Oh, no. I couldn't. Mm. Okay. One more. One more. Well, you got two more lives. Two more lives. You're going to spend the whole show on this? Yep. <laughs> two hours on level six now. <laughs> if I don't make it this time... Uh, you got two lives. Yeah, this yeah, game, this I, game. Will, I will, it's, I will it's move on. <laughs> so people don't get bored. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's fun while you're playing, but watching somebody oh, play sometimes. one level for half an hour is not no. super fun. <gasps> oh, no. it didn't register. No, you have to mm. hit it square on. Is there another block up there I can... Because I don't want to lose all my boost. Because I need it for the end. How do you 
get points. Oh, good point. I uh, just finishing the level, probably. I think just getting up to the top is going to help a lot. You can double jump, though. Like, you don't need the boost to double jump. There, I've got a lot now. going on there it's very far I couldn't make it and I held it down the whole time maybe I need to turn these into breakable things I doubt it <laughs> look how do you oh what it's far eh look from there to there how do you I you can do it yeah yeah hmm. I mean you practically you done it before so somehow I don't know if you had a ton of boost but going up to the top of the screen, oh, <gasps> really? Okay, we'll leave it to the okay. <laughs> an exercise for an everyone yes. at home. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah, you know I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> um, so the next game mm -hmm. is Dark Keep. Oh, sorry, I was it's left pressing... left then button button not. Button loads the thing. Yeah. No, but left and button. Yeah. There we go. That's what I meant. Next one is Dark Keep by Vladimir Yankovic. Nice. Uh, Pop Milo. Okay. Uh, you also made Blocks and uh, The Monk, and there are many. This uh, size of this game is 23K. Uh, oh, the last one, sorry, uh, came in sixth place. Mm. Uh, this one, uh, Dark Keep, came in 12th place. Okay. Um, there are no instructions except for on the screen right there. Watch for Gorgon. That's the instructions. Oh, cute. You're oh. a little dude. Oh. Um, I'll let you know what to do. You have to get Is coins. Is it roguelike? Uh, the most minor roguelike you've ever played. Ah, 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 ah. Run. Ah. Run. He's hitting you. I don't... Run. Do I just dodge him? Like, press fire. No, there's no fire. Oh. You just run away. Okay. Um, you get the coins. Okay. I think there's two on each level. Look for the stairs. And just don't let that guy hit you. That's it. Um, yeah, that's all the information I have. <laughs> it's, it's a weird, uh, yeah, you choppy have to, kind of movement. You have to individually press each movement. And the Gorgon is very dumb. Good. So he goes right after you. He knows where you are at all times oh, wonderful. on the screen. But he doesn't go around things. He just goes straight for you. So he's trapped. So now you have to find the stairs up. Make sure you explore everywhere. And I think. It doesn't roll over, so. Right? No. I think it After Dark is in order for that last game, especially uh, when they extend it. Um, well, what you could do is lure him out to that first area. Oh, he's not going up. He goes to the, to the left and right first, apparently. Oh my god. So lure him out and then run. Run, run, run! Oh, not. Well, you can. You can dodge him around that bottom area again. Carl G likes it already. I love roguelike games. They're so much fun. Oh, yeah. you have to let him go down one. Run. Oh, he hit you. Over to the left one. And then lure him one way and go around the other way. Oh, he's really good at hitting. He... He, he hits, hits you the moment you're close. Uh, as soon as he's at an angle to you, he can hit you. Mm. That makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah. Health too. Yeah. I don't know if you gain health at the end of a level. We'll see. That'd be nice. So you have two, and you got... Nope. <laughs> That's your health for the game. Unless there's health upgrades. I only played it for a tiny bit. I just knew that you have to get... The gold. There's two gold and one baddie ah! on each. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! That was very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Great title screen. Carl G, I like it already. It is good. I like it. It's very I like the cute. look of it. It is very cute. The guy is awesome. You just have to, I think, figure out how to manipulate the Gorgon. But yeah. it, he, he just kind of comes out of nowhere. And it's like the moment he is a, a brick away from you, he hits you. Your Even health goes a, down. a diagonal too, right? Yeah. So basically, oh, there's your way out. Um, That's good. Is there... 
you don't have to get two coins. No, we can just leave. You can leave as soon as you find. Yeah, but obviously you want to maximize the coins. Where are the coins? You've only got one so far. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't go in there. I can well, lure him out, but that's uh, hard because to lure him out, he has to get within one of you. Yeah. So, yeah, you can get out. You can. You can. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna risk it. Yeah. Can you buy things? Don't that's that's Maybe how every I. 10 levels? That's how I, I judge know. the worth of the game. Is, back? is what what's for sale? <laughs> Upgrades, weapons. What shopping I can do? It's all about the shopping. Between the levels, is there a, is there a fancy gold shield I can buy? Ooh, extra health. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Potions, sparkly potions. So there's no, um, for games in this contest, there's no limit as to when you started making the game. You could have started oh, making it 10 years at any, ago. At any point, so it's just. But as long as you've never published it anywhere. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's oh, God. I'll take that and run. Run. Fast, 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 fast. Get, 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 get. Did you get it all? Yep, got two. Um. And it can even be extended. So you're going up floors. Going upstairs, not down. You're not going uh, yeah, deeper up, into the dungeon. Up. I'm getting out of the dungeon, apparently. Yeah. Um, you can even submit games that you've done before. Mm -hmm. Oh. But. Oh. Uh, go, go back up and around. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they have to be extensions of those games. Like things have to be added to them, like gotcha. levels or. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Or things like that. Um, but they can't be the exact same game. I'm not sure how lenient they are with like what they mean by extensions. Um, one of the games we're going to be playing tonight, Die Heritage Edition, mm -hmm. is is the game with more levels. Mm -hmm. So they at least allowed that. I wonder if it's going to generate a level where I have to get hit. Oh no, because there's you always start with the stairs, and I okay. think the stairs always has a way for you to manipulate. Oh god. You think so? Yep. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh oh, dead end. Oh no, you're Gorgon Flatter. I am. Go, oh, run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, I still have four health. Does it give me. Yeah. Did I get some health? Um, maybe. Because you start with four, and I heard two beeps. Elena Whoop Spangler ship, Shipper. Are there ways to hook up an Atari ST to the internet in 2022? <laughs> uh, ST? Well, I don't have an ST, but I, but you can hook up... I have one plugged in right now. Mm. Um, you can hook up uh, an Atari XE or XL to the internet mm. with the Fuji cart, mm. um, which connects to the internet. You can download games. You can play games right over it. But, but you can play games with other people. Does that cart work with the ST or no? I... I don't know anything about the ST. No. <laughs> um, maybe somebody else might be able to answer that. Yeah. Um, it shows five health now instead of four, so you must uh, have gotten one you health. You gain one each level, yeah. maybe. You need an ST, James. Yes, That's don't encourage far. him, please. No. I don't have any much, <laughs> we, much, don't, we don't have space for more. I don't have any more room. <laughs> I try and stick to the 8-bit uh, systems. No, you can get an ST if you want an ST. I don't. I don't <laughs> I, I've got a Jaguar, and a lot of the ST games are ah, run. are um, ported to the Jaguar. Run away! Oh, nothing. Oh, he's guarding one. Oh, there's another. Yeah, can there's I a make down it? to the oh, right. Go down. Oh, no, he's following me. But I can still do it. I think there's a pathway through here. Yay! And got both of them. No, yeah, go one. Just one. Well spotted, Ivory. We went from four to five when you got the gold. Yeah. Really? Oh, the gold increases your health. Oh, okay, well that oh. that there you go. So there's a big reason there to get the go. gold. <laughs> Charles Whelan, I see plenty of free space. <laughs> uh, 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 no. <laughs> we'll do a tour one of these days. Oh, uh, well we have, tour. but it's pretty tight in here. It is. There's no room. It's up to the rafters. There's literally no room left yeah. anywhere. We need we need more space. Games are piled too <laughs> too deep. All the shelves are full of consoles. Yeah. The closet is to the ceiling with things. Yeah. Oh it is. god. Plus there's rooms with boxes and then Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's, bad it's news. rough. Okay. Yeah, he goes to the right and left first. 
Oh, he oh. kicked over the stairs. Uh oh. Well. He did hit me once. Did he? Yep. Oh, did my health go up? Cute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, there's their door. Ah, uh, you should be good now. I think we've explored this game. I think so. It yeah, keeps I, going. Is it seven. randomly randomly generated? Uh, that is a good question. Or is it? Um, some of the people, most of the people, didn't upload the instructions with their games. Gotcha. Um, or explain anything. Oh, Ivory Tower said no. It didn't that time. I'm not sure now. Maybe there's oh. max five health though. Oh uh, no, I've been up to six. Have you? So I think I hit him once though, right? Oh, okay, here we go. You did. No, it didn't go up. Huh? Maybe you need two. Maybe it's for every two. Look at that max gold. It keeps track of how much gold you've had. Why does it need max gold? Is that like a high score? Oh, 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 run, run, oh, run. Oh, two left. He Getting really takes it out of you really fast. Getting through a level without getting hurt. Maybe? Well, yep, yeah, my health didn't go up there, so let's try and just go through a level without getting hurt. We'll see. I really like the design oh, it's of so the cute. level and the. Oh God! Well, that's not going to happen this time. No, he can't. He 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 can't get past the. So. If you, there you go. Oh, he didn't hit me. You know he did. Oh. Well, it makes I, a noise when he hits you. But what I was going to say was he my is went, blocked. My health went up there and there. Oh. But it didn't at some point. Yeah. It's really weird. It's, Are you sure your health exceeded five? I swear it was six at some point. Okay. It went to three when he got the gold just in the end. Yeah. Could be related to the number of specs you take, maybe. Max. I want to see you get... God huh? damn it. Oh, my God. So he can go through these stairs. He's going to hit me then. Okay, come on. You have to come this way. Come on. Come on. It's like hurting a cat. Yep. Come after me. Now he touches can, me again. He okay. gets you. Oh, yeah, you should be okay. okay. Here we go. Gold. You it got went up two. two. What is going on? Is it on? rando? Like you just. Maybe it's random. Yeah. Sometimes it goes up one. Sometimes it goes up well. zero. Sometimes it goes up two. Well, it's going to be a, another unguarded gold somewhere. Not there. Down the bottom there. Yeah, went up one. Four. Okay, it's random. It does look random, doesn't it? And then it went to three. Odd. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it seems a bit random. There we go. Yeah. Um, fun. I would yeah, like to cute. see this develop further and add more, more to it because it just seems the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing over and over. Um, so it would. He he should be able to buy something with his gold. He should be able to upgrade, but then maybe the gorgon gets a little faster yeah. or. Because it doesn't seem to get any harder. No, just it just seems to stay the over same. And over again. It's kind of like how long can you go for without losing all your health? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Was the gold cool. wrapped chocolate? Ooh. Ooh, yummy. Uh, yeah, some of them is chocolate. Yeah. Some is just gold. Some so health can't gold. Eat it. Some is gold gold. Um, next one is called Pac Men Evolution by Lars Langhas, uh, known as Lars I'm Nets on Yay, the Atari Pac -Man. forums. I heard Pac -Man. He also made Oxygen B. Very nice title screen. Nice. It looks good. Very nice looking. I have to pause uh, for the cool title screen. This one came in fourth place. It's a port of a 19. It's not a port of Pac Man. No. This is a port of a 1995 Amiga game called Deluxe Pac-Man. Okay. Which was inspired by a 1981 VIC-20 game called Vic? Jelly Monsters. Really? VIC-20? Which was removed from shelves due to a lawsuit from Atari. Mm -hmm. Because Atari had the home license for Pac-Man in 1981. But this was released before Pac-Man 2600. So they're like freaking out because the VIC-20 have put out their game before them. <gasps> oh, um, interesting. Yep. And then when Atari put out Pac-Man for the VIC-20, it was worse than the, than, big, the other than, version. Than the original version. So it's like, oh my God, guys. So. Okay. So you have different levels. Game select, easy peasy, simple, easy, pra practicable, 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 practicable. <laughs> Provocative. Oh, I like that. Difficult. Complicated. Suicide. 
simple high, bomb man, god mode, <laughs> easy peasy. Okay, so we've looped easy around. Easy. Uh, no, try, I don't know. Simple instead of easy? One more. Oh. Come on. Easy. There we go. Oh, sorry. No, no, that's fine. We'll try practicable. <laughs> okay. Practicable. Level one. Press option it. level one. Yeah, yeah, level one. Far to start. Okay, let's see what this is. Practicable. Might oh, just be speed. Fast. Could be. It's a very different type of movement. I like the movement. It's tile-based Pac-Man movement. You can hold it to keep oh. moving, Yeah. but you have to move a tile. You can't instantly turn around. So that's the difference between this and Pac-Man. Oh, God. You can stop. <laughs> and it looks like there's like upgrades. Like If you get that A, you get maybe extra. These are really long corridors. Oh. <laughs> they are. What was that timer bar? Oh, I missed the timer bar. Get that A. Get the A. Oh, oh. The A's on the <laughs> maze. <laughs> ah. Surprised you. Ah. Oh, it was an E. So oh, far, I didn't mean to do that. So far, extra is happening. Get an extra life. Oh, yeah, it's in the right order, too. Ooh, dangerous. There's yeah, a ghost I do it in there. Sometime. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a speedy Pac-Man. Ah. Get it. No. Ah. Remember, you can't go backwards instantly. That's, uh, that's why. No, that wasn't the issue. It oh. was just slipped. Like, I, I'm having... Control is a little iffy here. Ah! 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, corner. Very nice title at the top. It's really Looks nice. Looks really nice. You go. My turn. The timer showed nice. up when you got the bomb. Oh, maybe it's like you can lay bombs? Oh, maybe. I'll just play the same level. Pack tip. Do the long sections that you can't get out of easily at the start. Ooh, yeah, because smart. the long level, the long sections are definitely... Or do definitely... it while you're, you've got the pow pellet. Yeah. Oh, definitely. it's just banana. Banana. Points. Points. Points, points, points. Cherry. Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. Woot. I assume that's high points. Chili. Chili pepper. Get, Get the chili. Mm. I think you could have gotten it, but still. Oh, oh, God. Dangerous. Oh. Get X. Because that was my last pellet. <laughs> I had to get the power pellet first. Yeah. Not gonna, yeah there you Might go. as well. I can't do anything else. I guess I could wait around for yeah. uh, something. Is this simple again? Uh, or, it's or the practicable? same. It's practicable. Practicable. Oh, it's an egg. Yep. Finally, my voice has recovered. Oh, from being... It was bad for so long. For being sick? Sick, and then talking... Oh, heartbreak. I don't know what that did. Uh, sick, and then and doing all the interviews. Oh, yeah. And just talking and do the moderation. Ooh, that cake looks very tasty. Come on, break out of your... Yeah, Ivory Tower says PRG took out my voice for a few days. <laughs> Probably everybody who is like a developer or had to talk to people for a lot. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let's just go after Your time's this. running out. I don't oh, know my what God. That means. I don't know what, what that means. Yeah, there's a timer. See a timer bar. Yeah. yeah. What did what did, made it happen, though? Yeah, collect E, X, T, R, and A to get a bonus level. A bonus level, not yeah. a bonus life. Well, it didn't come with banana. Oh, 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 oh damn it. Oh, no. oh, I would have had enough time. Okay, here's a heart. They nope. start flashing really quickly, but they uh, seem to last longer than other normal. forms of Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, when I see them flash, I go, oh, I've got no time left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dangerous. Yeah, it was. I was trying to get the egg, though. No, no. Yeah, you have to adjust the way you play this Pac-Man because of the the movement, the yeah, different a little bit. style of movement. Yeah, they do flash for a very long time. Still flashing. Okay, perfect. We need, I should get that now. Maybe we can possibly see see the end of this. Oh, you see that how when they yeah. goes to the level, they go turn into a a uh, color graphic of themselves. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't turn that? around. Yeah. 
and they go. Yeah, I like the I like the transitions. Yeah, they're really nice. This is Carl G says it's just different enough to make it interesting. Agree. It, and the maze changes. Yeah, yeah. It's still got the long oh, sections, no. which is very, it's very. It's a bomb. I wanted the bomb. Very dangerous. Oh, I've got very dangerous. Stretch taffy ghosts. Yeah. Yes, they do look like taffy ghosts. And they they move really fast. It's like they're oh, they're God. they're oh. little their little sheets are are, are hey, moving really quickly. Am I playing a, what happened to all my? Did I accidentally press the button to start over or something? I don't think so. Maybe it just restarts at the end of the level. Of course, it puts it in a very precarious. Oh, the eyeballs place. are having a hard time finding their way back home. <laughs> That's funny. I was uh, there was another one we were playing that was like that, which I thought was. Oh, really it took hilarious. a long time to get back home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they Look just circled around and around. That's right. I remember that. Oh, good time to get that. And they're having a lot of trouble. I love it. It's so funny. Oh, I should have. It's okay. Get that apple. Oh, you still have VR in the A. Eh? I don't know why. Uh, it's like two players or something. Junior Pac Man on the Intellivision had that issue on a few boards that was tricky to work out the eyes not finding home. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's like yeah, you tricked like... it, tricked it into uh, oh, God. being harmless. Yeah. Give yourself a little bit extra time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Long stretch here. Yeah. Get that yum 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 cake. Oh, oh no! What? Oh, ah! it died on the when I had the timer. So the cake made a timer. Oh, game over. Mm -hmm. Let's set it to one more mm -hmm. level. Oh, when the eyes get two. stuck in that endless loop, hang around collecting bonuses. Oh yeah, that's true. When they get ah, stuck, you can yeah. just get bonus, bonus, bonus. Good tip. Good tip. Bomb Man. Bomb Man. Yeah, I want to know what Bomb Man, Bomb Man is. That sounds really cool. It sounds like something completely different. Uh, level six. No, just a maze. Oh, the dots are in funny places, though. Or the. Well, uh, I made it to level six. The pellets or whatever. Oh, maybe it's all bombs. That's. <gasps> I pressed oh. the button and they all went away. But you had a timer and then you pressed the button. To use it. <gasps> wow. The eyes are colored. I didn't notice that they were all different colors. Like they, they stay individually. Oh, oh, I love these eyes. I love them. So I still have the bomb. Let's see. But your time. There you go. So you have oh, a limited amount of time really to use easy. it. Like, do they turn blue, though? When I eat this? No, they don't. You only have the bomb to use. And they all just become eyeballs. I yep. love that. That's cool. That's interesting. That's a, that's yeah. a very that's different a strategy. Spin. Because you have to be where the bomb is to get it, and then you can only use it for, like, I have to go rush to get the bomb. It's kind of like a uh, mousetrap. Mm -hmm. Except mousetrap, you can um, um, build them up. And well, they, they all don't found their way out. back. They all found oh, their way God. back. Damn it. I didn't know that you could set a bomb off. Thank you. Yeah. It made sense once we pieced together. Well, it had a countdown timer. It has a countdown timer, so it only lasts, I guess. Oh no, for That's as long as the countdown timer lasts. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. Or maybe it goes off to on its own. It. Uh, I think I've had it before and it didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, there we go. Come on. Get the long bits. Get the long bits. Oh my god, these guys found their way back real fast. Damn it, 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 damn it. There we go. Need a bomb. Thank you. Oh. Don't really get any points for setting off the bomb, but. Um, yeah, those. Oh, well, they know the way. Troublesome home. part. Oh my god, they found their way back real fast. <sighs> this is Ooh. this is actually a lot more challenging bomb mode. Yeah, because the pellets don't, uh, what yeah. do you call them? Power the pellets. Power pellets don't do anything. No. You, the timer's pretty long, though. Yeah, which is good because it gives you a fair amount of time to... You kind of want to... Oh. <gasps> oh, no, I gotcha. I like how Pac-Man dissolves, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, game over. Really good twist on Pac-Man. Mm. Really good. Did you want to play one more or... No, you're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh, it's party time, it's party time, time for kittens. Cats, 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 there you go. Share nicely. <laughs> so the next game is Die Heritage Edition. Mm. Now I was, this is compatible with the tablet, which I do have. Oh. But I forgot to get it out. Um, but what I'll do is I'll get you to play it, and then we'll get the tablet out. Okay. And try with the tablet after. Okay. While you're playing, because I have to go dig. For it. So which one? Die Heritage Edition. Die Heritage Edition. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, made by Christian Kruger, uh, who actually gave me a very 90s uh, style yeah. of uh, <laughs> yeah. of font there. ABBUC Software Contest. Die Heritage Edition. Mm -hmm. So it has, if you go to Option, mm -hmm. it has the touch tablet. Mm. Remember, I, I got that with something. I don't know what I got with. Yeah. Um, Joystick versus touch tablet. I like the I like the symbols. I thought it was a Q, but it <laughs> makes sense now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So thank you, Ivory Tower Collections, for the catnip. Yay! How are they doing? Oh, well, Sprite. Sprite has all taken it. In it. Yeah, hey, he's taken it. Do you, did you get any Atari? He, he went first. Did you get some? He doesn't look like he got any. Did he get? Did you get some? Come here. Come on, get Atari. some. You can have some. Come on. Oh, kitties. Um, so uh, Christian covered. sent. <laughs> yeah. Christian sent the pronunciation of his name because I messed it up last okay. episode. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is pronounced Ear Kent Fair. Would you ever guess that? Ear Kent Fair. Ear Kent Fair. Ear Kent Fair. Ear Kent Fair. Yeah. Ear Kent Fair. Obviously, yeah, English doesn't uh, work like that. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I get it. I you can get see it. the why? Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, he also made Disco Pop, which we played um, um, a year or so ago, ago. And obviously, he made Die, the original game. Mm. Uh, this came in fifth place. The original Die game was released in 2016. So uh, go for it. There are 40, more than 40 levels of okay. world heritage sites and hours of solving puzzles. Oh my. Okay. Uh, it's really hard to read that because it's supposed to be on CRTs and using special things. So it's already selected the color for you. I'll, I'll tell you what you do. Okay. Um, so there's colors down the right-hand side. Yeah. And you need to fill in. So click on the gray and it'll fill in with the um, orange brown. And there, you completed the level. You want to make it all one color. All one color in like one go or? Well, you have two goes on this one. I have two. Ah. So you go over and pick a color and you're probably going to, you're going to pick either the dark yellow brown or the light yellow. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have to, yeah. it's like fit, you ever I know how this works. Pad and use the I fill function. Pad. It's the fill function. Okay. Yeah, this is easy enough. I know how this works. And bloop. Yay. Oh. Oh, <gasps> oh no. Uh -oh. Close. Failed. Failed. I just have to do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So these are all modeled after uh, World Heritage sites around the world. There you go. Now it's all going to connect up. Snicklin says it gets difficult quickly. I bet I it does. See. Yeah, I can see that. Because it's going to be like three or four levels well, deep. Well, you're going to have to try. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like this. This is right up my alley. Oh, there's the Heads of Easter Island, right? I can't remember mm -hmm. the actual names. That's really good with the shadow and the, and the sky. Okay, I'm going to start so, with this so you get guy. three goes. I'll we'll try this first. Okay, yeah, I think you're on the right track. And then get and three goes. Dark brown on the green. I was going to do this, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. And yeah, then, you're good. And yep. then you can pick either color. Oh, no, you have to pick the gray. 
Do you? Yes. Do yes. you have to? Because it was separate. You can tell where it's separate. So. Oh, I see. Yeah. They're separate pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool concept I on this like one. It. Carl G says, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the pyramids. That's really good. It looks really nice, doesn't For it? For such a low resolution um, drawing, it represents it really well. So, uh, Ear Kent Fair posted yesterday. It says, this game supports keyboard input, C77 touch tablet, CMI08 mouse interface, joystick, and snack. And what snack is, is a interface that you plug into the uh, DB9 port and you can plug in the SNES or NES controller mm. to use with it. Um, uh, and he said the following instructions are maybe also helpful for zero page homebrew <laughs> as the game will be featured on Friday. Thumbs ah. up. In general you can select a color by pressing one to five on the keyboard. So if you're using keyboard there's a quick way of selecting the color mm. and this sp speeds up handling very well. In joystick mode Keyboard is also active on WASD and the cursor keys without control. These move the pointer while the space bar performs like the trigger. In snack mode, auto detect, uh, the X or the B button change the color selection while the start button behaves like an escape. On the title screen, you also can use the select from the controller to change the audio output. What? Is there supposed to be sound? Did I turn it off? There's sound? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Nope, don't hear any sound. Oops. Um, maybe I turned it off on the title screen. Oh, maybe you can only turn off the music and the title screen off and on. Was there music? The touch tablet slash mouse mode has to be selected on the title screen, and it is not that smooth as it could be as the pointer freezes while a fill operation takes place, which is fine. Even if even it doesn't affect gameplay, it will likely change that in the final version. So you can actually... I guess go over and select a color while you're waiting for it to fill. Yeah. Is that the church made out of rock that is in Ethiopia? I think. Ivory Tower Collections. Oh, I missed the... The reference? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I'm guessing you have to do it in the minimum number. It doesn't give you an extra... No, you have to do it in four. Yeah. Al says, difficult question for a colorblind person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this would be a difficult game, especially yeah. if two colors are conflicting. Maybe you kept that in mind and yeah. made colors that don't. Depends well, on what color green. blindness. Yeah, there's you all kinds. Are. Hey, stop chewing on each other. Each other, you know, they're just off screen. <laughs> Silly cats. Oh, they are off. Well, they're not off screen in the small version. There's just a okay, little. Keep going. It's way too much fun. Oh, what is this one? Um... Is that a carving in the rock face? Maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna go try and look for my. Yeah. Uh, tablet. I doubt I. Oh, kitten, you moved and then I stepped on you. <laughs> oh, you stepping on poor kitties. Oh, I don't think I can get this out. No? Oh, maybe. Yeah, black next. Maybe. Ooh, I don't think I did that right. Mm. Need the flashlight. Need the flashlight. Um, oh, I have three more. Uh. Might be able to get it. I don't see it. Yeah. One of the bins, actually. Is it in a bin? Oh, that's actually better. So all the all the stuff that James has said is is <laughs> up uh, is lined up in up in the closet to the rafters. He's now going to have to take out to find that tablet. So. Pile to the ceiling. <laughs> yes. Ooh, that's very nice. That's very pretty. Ooh. It's a church on a hill. Ooh. I'm familiar with that one. Hmm. brush up on my World Heritage sites. Mmm, because it gets the, gets you with the white. Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know yeah, where it is. I think I've already screwed it up. That's okay. 
Uh, looks like. Uh, uh, I can't find it. He says it doesn't work as well. Anyway, so. Just have to uh, pretend we use the tablet. Because I was. I just. I was gonna get it out before the show, but then I forgot and I ran out of time and. No, this is a fail. Um, you just have to do that's, you have some to wrong finish things. It. Yeah, you just have to do it wrong. Yeah, I have only one. Oh, more. escape undo undoes. What? Escape? Oh. Oh, oh it, it starts from the beginning. Restarts. Okay, well, okay. that's that's pretty good. That then. makes it easy. Well, you can't do the blue. Uh, right. You can do the, the white. The white doesn't completely connect. Blue on the white. Do the blue on the white. I know. I think you have to do the white first. Ooh, down here. Really? And then do the blue. Does it connect? It depends if it does diagonals or not. Oh! oh. Not quite. This will be the last one. Church of St. George. Ah. Uh. Not too many games in the destroying artwork genre. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. Ivory Tower Collection. Great. Never thought it would make a good concept for a game, but it does. It's a great puzzle game. And it's based on something that's been around for so long. Oh, look at that. One. One. Oh, what? One. Wow. Is... This is a challenging one. So I should undo it? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to. Oof. Play with a few things here. Just change everything to pink. <laughs> Maybe that's the way. That's funny. Wearing an Adidas shirt yeah. today, huh? <laughs> that's what I got. Yeah, no, that's okay. Fail. Uh, so, let's oh. try that again. That one pixel is the bane of my my recent life. Yeah, Snicklin has been tr troubled uh. by this one. Um, oh, I see. So you have to think about that that pixel first. Well, so you want to change the white. So definitely the white. White but to the light blue, maybe? Maybe it's like white, white. Oh, maybe you want to do white on be. the top and the bottom. And then switch no. it all green. No, then no, blue, no. then green. White, no, no. white, blue, green. No. White. No. 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 White. No, no, no. Let me. Oh, see that pixel no, no, is still no. there. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, the pole's working. Is it? Yep. Yeah, see the white ones on the on the side there aren't done either. Should we do a pole? Mm. I'll just finish up here. I wanna... No, the there, pole. there I'm, wasn't I'm a pole. On this it, one. it wasn't working. Okay, we'll do the pole. Okay. And start the pole. Okay. The poll question is, and since we're playing a one button system, um, this game supports more than one button, but it's a one button system, just like the 2600 does one button. Um, should the one button in games where there's shooting and jumping, should the one button be used, uh, like the options are up and the button for jumping and shooting, let's say this mysterious game that we're thinking about. Um, should the one button be used for shooting or jumping? Uh, option one, button is always jump. Number two, button is always shoot. Mm -hmm. Number three, button for the most used action in the game. So if there's a lot of shooting, make it make the button for shooting. Um, or if there's a lot of jumping and not so much shooting, make the button for um make the button for the just the most used one or up for the most used action or either is fine now i think i would want the button for the most used action um, because i think the button's easier to use than up all the time like if you're shooting all the time up 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 to shoot that's that's a bit difficult to do um i find the button accessing the button and then say it was a, a game where you're shooting a lot um i would want the button to be the shooting 
Mm. If it's a game where you're jumping a lot, I would want the button to be the jumping and then up to shoot. Um, this kind of came about when we it was in the video for a Robot Z interview um, with Chris Bry. Uh, DJ Mips made a comment about that because in Robot Z you have the option of up is shooting in that game and I think the button is jumping because there's a lot of jumping in the game and not as much shooting so I would go for number three it's called the fire button for a reason huh that's mm -hmm. true that's true I am gonna go for th three button for the most used action in the game But some people like it just always shooting or button always jumping because they're just more used to that. So playing. It's it. This one is definitely challenging. I'm sure there's a very specific sequence you let have try. to give it in. No, um, no, no, let me try. No, you tried it like no, five no, times no, and no. I tried to do this game zero. One more, one more, uh, one more. <laughs> so mean. I am mean. <laughs> hmm. Can't sit there and do nothing. Come on. Oh, cat. You're, you're an acro cat, aren't you? Oh, it still doesn't get all the white. No. Oh, wow. There's some How white over there. How do you get the there. blue? Hey, my turn. I have to do all it's the blue. It's your last turn. Then the green. Two aye. left and only one color to go. Ay, ay, ay. I reckon those lines on the right are significant to the solution. Yeah. Yeah, but like how <gasps> wow. do you still two you... left. No, yeah, it's it's mm, I agree with you, Snicklin. It's a good a good game for an after dark. But how do you how do you get the the green you'd have to turn the top green first then. Maybe that's the key. What? Yeah, no, it yeah. Try turning the top green. Turn the top green. Oh no, because then you have the blue bit. So right. if you turn the top green. Right. Oh, that's really good. Now. Turn the white. You still have the green. Blue. Turn the white green. Oh no, you have to turn the white blue. You yeah, have to turn have the white blue. Have to turn the white blue because there's so many little spots. And then. It's still no, bad. No, it still doesn't. It still doesn't work. What in the hell? There's so many separated colors. I know. It's like if you turn the top green and the dot bottom dark blue, but I think you you run out. Right. Top green. Which makes sense because it's then, a green cross. And then the bottom dark look blue. Look at that. Look at that one I dot. Know. Do the bottom dark blue. Right. Ugh. Two left, and there's multiple colors. And then the center blue, but then you're still going to get white bits in it. I don't know. <laughs> impossible. Has anyone in, on here beat this level? I don't even know how it is possible. Oh, I don't know. It might be, but once you find the answer, you're like, I'm an idiot. You know, it's one of those games. I don't know. I think it's still hard. You have to turn the bottom blue. Otherwise, you're clicking on everything. Right. You have to turn the white light bl light blue. So maybe if you do that blue and then white, but then you have the blue at the top. <laughs> There's still tons of dots. No. No, I would have done. I that's not what I would have done. I want do that again. Do exactly what you did. The do the bottom blue. Dark blue. Dark blue. Why not just light blue? Do oh, and then okay. white. Right? You did white. On the bottom. Is that what you did? I think so. Okay. Is that what you did? No, you did it dark blue. So what? Dark blue? Did On the bottom? bottom? Dark blue. Try the church lavender first. Mm. No, you end up with white bits. So you have to do the bottom white. Do the bottom white. Didn't you do that last time? I don't know. Then do it. Do it all lavender. See, you need one more. 
Still tons. There's then, no, then you need to do green, and then you need to do blue, but that's five, not four. Yeah. If you had one more round, <laughs> you could you could do it with one more. You should choose brown or green, whatever uh, is on the top first. I mean... Maybe it's... It, maybe you're, you're... I feel like that's the answer, but it's... See, you got that one lavender bit. Bleh. So something you have to turn lavender. Right. To get rid of uh. that. So the white needs to go, become lavender, but it leaves white at the bottom. Right. Now, you could do white at the bottom, but I, I still think you're going to be screwed. That's all connected now, the white. That's pretty good. But I only have two colors left, and there's three on the board. Green, yeah, blue, and white. I know. So they can't. You can't. You're stuck at this point. I feel like you can do it in five, but you can't do it in four. Oh, you can do, do it, do it, it in four. five easily, yeah. Not all connected white. Yeah, the white is not connected. So you can't... You don't color the white, because it's not going to help. Yeah. You have to do blue at the bottom and then white. Yeah. Or the white, blue, and then green, or lavender. Yeah, you, you end up with white. <laughs> Everything I think you have blue. to do the white, the bottom white. Get rid of those spots. Yeah. You have to do the bottom white, and then you somehow have to turn the white lavender eventually. Can you do lavender? Uh, those tiny no, spots it left. it doesn't work. So. So close, <laughs> but so far. <laughs> oh My well. Turn. One more. You one get more. one more. <sighs> like literally one more. Damn you, pixels! Exactly. So many disconnected ones for this level. I swear they talked about this in the forums for this game. Um this particular level. Let me see. Oh, no. People have made it past. Really? Yeah. So it was a lot of fun, but we had to stop at level 16. Oh, my God. Ooh, level 10 looks awesome. It's a Stonehenge. Yeah. No. Level six. No. So people have obviously got past this. No, nobody's talked about level six. Okay, you had your turn. No, you have to move no. On. It's an <laughs> Not after dark game. Move on yet. I know. I know. Love your puzzles. I do. <laughs> but we gotta move. Okay. This yes. one is Arcadia by Amarok, uh, 36K game. Uh, this came in third place, uh, XEX. <laughs> Snicklin, I went to Stonehenge once. It didn't bother getting out of the car as I didn't see the point. <laughs> I could see them from the car. Because you can't touch them. Aren't they go up fenced them anyway? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, I think they're all fenced off. So good to help. And I think you're very familiar with this game. Um, this is similar to Zuma from 2003, uh, which was, in turn was inspired by the 1998 game Puzzle Loop. Um, and about, are you reading? The instructions? It was. I know what it is. You said Zuma, oh. and I went, oh, I know oh, what it is. Oh, you know that game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's matching. Matching um, marbles, do... knocking marbles. Every third combo or chain creates a new power-up, which helps you keep the temple safe. Remove at least a group of at least five marbles to create a heart power-up. Collect ten hearts to get a new life. So you can shoot things on the board as well. Go for it. Yeah, it's normal. Nice. Very nice looking. There's the track. Oh, I see. And you can press down to switch the colors. 
Oh, you can? Between two different colors. Oh my gosh, it moves fast. Yeah, it is a hard... The levels are high on this one. So you gotta start making combos and shooting things on the board. There you go. Get that thing over there. Go. Oh. oh. <gasps> what? <laughs> and it's already coming. Should have picked easy. So he says, I would like to present my first ever game for the Atari 8-bit computer, which is also my entry into the ABBUC software contest. Arcadia is a Zuma Luxor-like shooting game. The main goal of the game is to remove all the segments of marbles before they reach the temple at the end of the path. Uh, otherwise, the temple is being destroyed and the player lose a life. The steering is by the joystick plugged into port number one. The player takes aim by moving the joystick left and right and shoots a new marble by pressing the fire button. He can swap the current marble with the next one by moving the joystick up or down. The player may pause the game by pressing the space bar on the keyboard. If a newly shooted mar shot marble creates a group of at least three of the same color, the group disappears. Otherwise, the new marble extends the segment. Each consecutive removal of a group of marbles increases the combo or the chain reaction counter. Every third combo or chain reaction creates a power-up on the board, which may be caught by the new marble shot by the player. Sometimes there's pauses, sometimes there's things that make it go backwards or destroys it. Yeah, I found the best strategy is to let it come to you. Oh, there you go. Bomb! Nice, that you needed. Um, there are power-ups which affect the movement of segments like slow down, pause, or reverse. Other power-ups are painting the marbles in a particular color, removing all the marbles of a particular color. Nice. Which you would... That's a good one. Like that would turn them all green. Ah! No. Oh, no, this power. Do it. There. Very nice. Yeah, I think the power-ups are the key to this game. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, you're getting It's not there. too hard. Almost it's done a the first pretty level. nice game. I'm very impressed. Very nice. Ooh, almost done the level. You can switch by pushing down there. You go. Ah! Yay! And good music as well. Very good music. This game screams for paddle control. Oh, yeah! This would be a good one for paddle. Yeah. Level one complete. Um, there are four difficulty levels in the game, easy, normal, hard, and insane. Mm. They differ by speed, number, and lengths of segment to be destroyed. Accuracy, 94%. After each three consecutive levels, a bonus round appears. The goal of a bonus level is to destroy as many marbles as possible. Every destroyed segment makes a new heart power-up. Player cannot lose his life on the bonus round. Oh, change the ball to black. Get that power-up. Oh, no. Yeah, they're... Oh, my gosh, it moves fast. Oh, it's a big, long track, though. It is, but still, it moved really fast at the beginning there. Snicklin says, this is great for a first game. I agree, this is... It's fantastic. I want to run fast. Yeah, it's a okay. very good implementation of this, of this um, style of game. In the game, there's a Hall of Fame screen containing the top five scores. Also, there is a help screen with a short description about the rules of the game. Yeah, the board looks great. The music's amazing. Ooh, get that. There you go. Get the heart. Get the bomb. Oh, that would probably destroy all the greens. That's okay. Oh, it's almost to the temple. Black and a green. No, get to the temple. We don't have anything for that. We did. Got a green now. Green. Black. Yay, just in time to do another one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. 
Oh, green bomb. Nice, that helped a lot. join up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Reverse. Or pause. Slows. Oh, slows. Great game. Fun. I like it. <laughs> Yay! My turn on a hard level. <laughs> really good. Oh, you really unscrewed that. Oh, yeah. And that's getting how you know it. I'm getting intense. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll slow down. There we go. Ugh, so fast. Oh, God. It shoots very fast, which it is It does. Good. Yes, which is good. Still have to be very quick And I like the draw, that though. they do have the guide on the... Um, Oh, for on where the it's shooter? Going? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, some versions of Zuma you can play with the guide or without, depending oh, if it's easy or hard. I can't imagine that. Uh, it. It's not that bad, but. And this one would be hard. It's just straight, though. I don't think it would be that bad. Oh, it shows. Ah, oh it funny. Shows. Ah. There's like bridges. Oh, God. Combos. I need some power ups. Oh, God. It's. Press the joystick. The power up. Oh. Come on. Get it on the end. On the end. There you go. Come on. What are you Get doing? The... Get the middle one. Silly. That one's almost to the temple. I know. <laughs> oh God. Been no power ups, or I've been not seeing them. You're gonna be in trouble very soon. Get the green. What did you do? Ah. What are you talking about? Ah. I don't know what that does. Changes the oh, whole segment to a color. That's good. Just need a green. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know what that does. The heart. Gives you an extra life, I assume. Oh, God. Damn. I mean, you haven't died yet, so that's good. change it. Don't forget you can change them. Yeah. I can't shoot that. <laughs> hard. Hard, hard, hard. Oof. Pause, please. Yes, thank you. That's mm -hmm. what I needed. Oh, and then this whole bunch of power-ups. That's awesome because I killed a whole bunch of things. Mm. Oops. <laughs> it's like Luxor on the PSP. Mm. Yep, that was one of the things they mentioned. As an inspiration? As an inspiration, yep. Mm. Really good implementation of this I don't know what game. that lightning is, but you can't get it, so... No, I can't, unfortunately. It's a shame. Definitely the bomb for all the color of all one color is a lifesaver when it gets really, really crazy. Oh, yeah. Really good, though. Cool game. Very cool really game. Good. Where did this fall in the standings? Do you remember? Oh, <gasps> sorted them. Was. It put oh, them in order. Oh my god, that's so good. Yay! Oh, the power ups. <laughs> nice. Oh, so good. Very nice. I want to keep playing, but you have to move on. 
Really good game. Uh, yeah, Very well done. Really well done. This yeah. came in third. Not surprising. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, you need 128K for, so we're going to switch over to uh, the Compi. Okay. Because we cannot play it. Do you get a bonus for better accuracy or anything? I don't know. I mean, no. we neither of us hit 100%, so oh, I don't know. Oh, I bet you do. You if, think? If you, Maybe. If yeah, you get 100%, that would make sense. You probably get but I don't know. Quite a good bonus. Ooh. It's a self test. <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> Just laughing. <laughs> Like, is this the game we're playing right now? Yeah, we're playing the self test. We're, we're playing the self test. It's like um, <laughs> it's like doing the speed test to see how the internet is. <laughs> and the next game for the next game. That's right. We are we are checking our upload and download speeds. <laughs> Cute. Sorry. They can't sorry. see it yet. Oh, there we go. Come on, go full screen and stay. Every time I touch it, it goes out of full screen. Nice. Might be a bit too loud, so I have to get out of full screen again. A little loud, very loud. Come on. There we go. Hi, Black Kitten. Bunny hop! Nice. And hopefully this is... Nope. No, not like pen. Not like pen. No, no, no. <laughs> Gamepad. It is through emulation. Yep. There you go. Yes, because I don't have a 128k uh, system. I would like to get one. Oh. Oh. Did I hit the button? Yes, you did. Unfortunately. Code. Oh. That's Memorize okay. That it's code. on easy. Okay, so you move your little bunny, and it can jump over rocks or other bunnies, okay. and you got to get them in a hole. to the left and go in the hole. Yay! That's oh, it. Oh, I see. It can't go one, but it can go over things. Yes, it can only go over things. So this is by uh, Frantisek Hura, Hura Fandel, uh, for the code Z Zenek, Zdenek, Eisenhammer, Pseudographics for graphics and music, and Vin Samuel, Vin's cool for the audio driver. Uh, it's a 47k game. Uh, they, um, Fandel also did On Escape and probably a million other games. Uh, this came in first place in the contest. It's very cute. Like, the graphics are amazing. The sound's amazing. Look at that bird flying on the top. The animation of that bird. That's why it needs 128K, because the graphics are pretty, pretty amazing. And the music. Um, so he said, uh, Pseudographic says, The first 20 levels or so are easy enough for small kids. But the later ones, there are 60 are pretty challenging. I still haven't beat the last two. So one of the developers on it hasn't beat the last two levels. Oh, what is going on here? Okay, there Oh, it's go. cut off. Okay, we're gonna go out of full screen. It's cut off? Yeah, the top of it. Oh, so now okay. you can see all of it. And there we go. I'm gonna fix it though. That's so cute. Oh, no, I was on the wrong one. There we go. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections. Now it's proper. Still not quite tall enough. Ah, stop it. <laughs> stop. There we go. Cute. A bit more height. So cute. Okay, go to the next. Level. I'm trying to adjust something. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I was on the wrong one. That's fine. There's more sun. Squirrel who's grooming itself. Boom. Perfect. So Pixel just, perfect now. Aw. Uh, just so <laughs> you know, squirrel. Sprite loves watching video games and the TV. He does. He likes he, watching he, cat videos, too. He will too. watch the videos. Like, it's quite cute. 
Oh no, point. Jesse, please let me know if you hear or see anything that's out of place because I can fix it most of the time. Like the sound's too loud or the things are cut off because now I've got it pixel perfect on the screen. You can see the whole window. So now you have two bunnies. So you can jump the bunnies over the other bunnies. It's cute. Super cute. Let me send the red bunny back up to the top and then... And then the gray, the blue bunny over. Yep. Up, left. And then the blue bunny can go over to the right. The owl's animated. Yeah. And the, and the deer, deer. And the, there's a squirrel that grooms itself. Oh, so cute. It is very, very cute. So, it says, a playful puzzle game made for the ABBUC Software Contest 2022. The game is based on a board game called Jump In. The object of the game is to get the rabbits into their holes. The forest has been a peaceful place ever since, but one day three bunnies, jumpy, bouncy, and hoppy, so you're going to get up to three bunnies, cool. went to play in a distant part of the woods and suddenly realized they got lost. And, and that is where you, our friend, comes to the rescue. Aww. Can you help the poor bunnies find their way to the holes? Aww. The trouble is that the rabbits can only move by jumping over obstacles such as stones, other rabbits, or even foxes. Once all the rabbits are in their holes at once, you can proceed to the next level. When foxes appear in the later levels, you can put them to good use as they can move too. However, be aware that foxes are laid horizontally can only move left and right, while vertically laid foxes can move up and down. Use a joystick and port one to control the game. Level codes are used entering the keyboard. Press escape to exit code entry or return to the title screen from the game. Start to restart the level, select to toggle in game music. The game is based on the tabletop game Jump In by Smart Games. Requires PAL or NTSC Atari 800 compatible computer with 128K of RAM and a joystick controller. Rendered Ghost loves the music. Yeah, it's perfect and peaceful. It's going up and down the scales. Nice relaxing beat. it now. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Lots of puzzle games in this. Mm -hmm. Have you yes, played please. it? Uh, a little bit. Uh, okay, we gotta get some bunnies down to the bottom to get that bunny up over. There you go. Yay! I know how to play this. Pretty. It's 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 a nice it's a nice simple game. It's good. Yep. Yeah. It's very understandable. Yep. Ooh, no. Yeah. No. No. Not yet. Oh. Because then you can't move them. To do it in a very specific order. Yep. Because bunnies will block other bunnies yes, if you're not true. careful. Yes, it's true. That's very true. Crazy weather today. It was about 20C this morning. Wow. With lots nice. of storms. And we're now sitting about six. Ooh. Wow, that's some that's crazy a weather. Big swing in wet in weather. Yeah. Big swing. Uh ooh. What's... Crazy temp changes. I mean it's been cold here. It's not been warm. I'm in I'm in my kind yeah. of used to be 20. rainy weather parka right now with my liner and the whole thing. It's oh, cold. Boy. It feels winter. It feels Vancouver winter right now. Which is yes average of like five or six degrees but pouring rain just just your just mm. dampness damp coldness that's pretty much our normal <laughs> damp coldness damp yeah. coldness in the winter okay this one is uh yeah oh, northern areas of the state of snow already yeah I, yeah I, i've seen some snow uh, on the snow news. in bc for sure oh, yeah, in I the interior it. people in the interior have been complaining about snow so yes so that is definitely a thing. Ah, took a bit, nice. took a bit to figure out how to get nice. to that bunny. Thank you for putting it in Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Most of the time it's like, what? I, I always need Fahrenheit? to. I need like, we need like a scale on we the wall. We do, so we can understand what I just, everyone's okay, saying. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, bunnies, you got to get over here, help the red bunny out. Uh, then you probably have to go back and you have to go... Oh, no. Oh, he can, yeah. Oh, boy. It's more complex now, isn't it? 
It's getting there. Oh no. Maybe. No. No, it. it. Mm. Oh, now. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Now we can move him there. And he can go down, but then he can't go anywhere. Oh, he's already. Oh no. Oh, but now I got it. <laughs> And that one goes away. Ah, Sparty. You kind of have to kind of work your way through it a bit. I converted to Celsius for you. The actual temper is more like 67 this morning. We're at 44 now. Oh, 67 is 20? Hmm. Oh, we're into Fox territory. Ah. So this guy can only... But what? Oklahoma doesn't usually get that kind of weather until closer to Christmas. And pretty much February is when it really feels like winter. Yeah, I would think Oklahoma would... would would get cold, um, <laughs> and shit litta, litla, it's supposed to be around 285k here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I always forget the conversion. Subtract 200 and something to get Celsius oh, for Kelvin. K, okay. 285k. Like, Kelvin. Okay, I got that one. It's nearly always above 20 C in Brisbane. It's horrendous, Nicholas <laughs> says. Well, aren't, uh, aren't you coming into... Well, I guess summer would be... Our, summer is winter there, so it would be getting warmer there, I would think. Yes. But, uh, okay. Always above 20 C. It's always. not the above 20 C. It's when it gets far above 20 C yeah. that I would be when worried. When it gets to 50. Yeah. That's... What is the fox about? He just slides. Slides vertically or horizontally. But you can't move him more than that. No. Room temp is, yeah, room temp's around 20. Yeah, we like it around 22 here. Yeah, 22. <laughs> That's what we usually set it to. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know how to get this bunny. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I move him there. Then I can move him there, and there, and there. And then move the fox up, and there. I'll give you one more, and then we're going to move on. Yeah, when it's 35 in your home office oh. bedroom, that's horrid. Oh, yeah, no. we've experienced when we had that heat wave, it was like f when it was 40 in BC, which was yeah. insane. No yeah. one has air conditioning. We don't Zero. have air conditioning. We have a portable we one. We have for a little one portable room. one for one room. It was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. Keep going. Me? Yep. You get one more, one level with the fox. Uh, and then we move on. What was I doing? <laughs> How does this work again? You move the fox up and down, then the rabbit can jump over the fox. 35C in Dallas almost all summer. Yeah, that's pretty warm. And it depends on the humidity as well. If it's dry, it's better. It's quite humid here. We're in a rainforest. Oh, you're done. Yeah, that wasn't hard. Yep. Good stuff. Yep. That is a good game. I can see why people would really like it. Yeah. Um, it's relaxing. It's a puzzle game. And it's got the levels in the right order as well to ramp up. So the next game is... Next and last game is Moon Quest. Uh, by Michael Radecki Mc... His name is Mycomis <laughs> in the Atari Age forums, who did everything in this game. Cool. Uh, it's 130K, but it uh, runs on this system so because it, it doesn't load everything at once. So you don't need this anymore. Pick up your joystick, and we'll switch Picked back up. over. And now this is a not pointing click. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the Ooh, cute. I think that's the wrong one. Or oh. is it? Go back. We already saw that. Which one was Moon that, Quest. Moon Quest. So we have printed instructions. Oh. The pole bot map, boot error. Uh the pole is closed. Oh it is. If like you that. wanna if you wanna go again. back to your pole and... Oh! No, it's gone! Well how is it gone? Oh, uh, we'll find out the pole. Why does it do that? You need a better pole software. It's not good. Kin? Oh, he's taking your spot. There's yeah, a big fluffy is. black squirrel tail in your in your spot right now. Oh, he's mad at me. Don't touch me. This there is my go. spot. That's better. I have to don't so hold down cute. option to make sure that 
basic doesn't boot into memory. Oh. Because it needs all the memory it can get. Squish that cat. Moon Quest! Very cute. ABB UC Software Contest 2022. Option is story. A cyber attack has been carried out. Oh no. Uh, the space complex in the lunar base has been attacked by the hackers. Uh, the base is tasked the base is tasked with extracting, processing, and transporting to Earth lunar dust extracted from the regolith containing oh helium-3 fuel, which of which countless supplies could end the energy crisis for centuries. centuries. An Earth complex oversees an autonomous base on the moon. From it, crude emergency repair missions are also sent. The virus that attacked Earth systems and the moon base... Uh, was most likely created by a guild of global companies that extract fossil fuels on Earth. <laughs> You're a scientist, astronaut, and engineer in one person. Wow. Your mission is so to end the crisis at the complex and travel to the moon to resume extraction. Game. There's all the credits. And start. Oh. oh watch out. Watch out. You're squishing his tail. You're on his tail. Sorry. Oh. Poor guy. He puts up with a lot. I know he does. <laughs> um, well, after reading that, we don't... don't think we need to... Oh, yeah, there's some more information here. He did leave a nice warm comfy spot oh, on the yes. couch. Oh, yes. I can feel Moon it now. Quest. Moon Quest. So you have actions. Look, give, take, use, talk, activate. You have directions. Okay. Up, up, uh, forward, left, right, down. Don't, don't start moving yet. Oh, oh. God. Okay, go back. Um, and you also have things that you need to get on the left-hand side. There's boots, there's mm. a suit, there's a helmet, and... Um, I'm already running around. How do I use the look, give, talk? Press the button, and it goes to the menu. Oh. You are a sharp cat. What? Oh, my God. Okay, hit the button. You have to button. make sure... Um, there's a, a cursor. There you go. You are inside a complex. A worried female scientist is looking at you with hope from behind the reception desk. She says, come closer. Press the button to get out of it. There you go. There she is. From the situation on her face, you see the situation is really dramatic. <laughs> dramatic situation. From the look on her face. What did I say? The situation oh, on her face. Oh, the situation. She does have a situation on her she face. She does. <laughs> She's very pixely. There is a fire in the <laughs> complex. That is a situation. We have a power failure if the power station is not working. Oh. Presser is panicked and refuses <laughs> to return the launch codes. Oh. To top it off, my kitty is missing. Oh. No. Not a missing kitty. That's the worst part of it all. No. Okay. So I don't know if there's anything to... Uh, horrified Lucy squeezes the flashlight in her hand. Oh, she has a flashlight. I think that would be very handy to get. So I would take that flashlight. Did it work? Try it again. No. Oh. Uh, did it use? No, I guess you can't take her flashlight. Maybe she wants something for it. Saving the cat is top priority, Chelsea Don Mal says. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Number one. Actually, she'll probably give you the flashlight when you get her cat. <gasps> right? Yeah. It's always the way in these games. Let's find this cat. You're in the corridor. There's an elevator in front of you. Well, there's no power, so that's not going to do anything. Uh, you're in the corridor. Oh, you're in Dr. Freeman's, Freeman's lab. It seems that the doctor is missing some tools to repair the backpacks. Oh, he needs tools. Check the open door behind her for the cat. I can't use a crowbar to fix the damn screw. <laughs> Ah, it is Dr. Freeman. Lu Lu ah. From, um... Lucy's cat seems to be hiding around here. Oh. Come see me at once. You've dealt with the crisis at the complex. It is Freeman. He has glasses and the goatee. Yep. Yeah. You've collected the spacesuit. Um, yeah. So all the things on the left. 
So and the launch get all codes. the stuff, okay, and come back to him. So does he have anything that you can get? No. Um, Try take. Look, no. No. No, nothing. Anything in this lab? Fixes backpacks. <laughs> In the corner. Door's blocked. Hmm. have to go back where you came from then, I guess. I have to clear that, I guess. This is... Oh, I see. Elevator in front of you. Activate the elevator. Probably has no power. Power failure, yeah. So at the front desk. Nothing there. We better no, talk to her. Talk to her. She needs a cat. Burnt out corridor. Put out all the fires first. Oh, there's fires. What? There. You need a fire extinguisher. I can't go to the left. And I came from the right. And I can't go forward. Back outside you go. Oh. You've arrived at a space complex. You must deal with the crisis, find the complete spacesuit, and restore extraction to the moon. So mode. there's a left and a right here. Ah. You're in front of the Transformers uh, station's gate. You smell catnip in here. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Big hint there. You have catnip Yeah. Now. Catnip. Now you just have to find the cat. Gate is locked. Okay. Where's that kitty? Is the kitty there? Oh, trash can. Maybe the kitty's in the trash can. Launch platform. There's a trash can in front of you. Mmm. Maybe you can use it, but I don't think. Nothing to activate. What monster would throw out a perfectly good cat? <laughs> Oh, did you try everything at the trash can? I don't... I uh, know, but I'm... Oh, are you going to give her catnip? She might want that. Maybe I'll help her find her cat. You think he wants catnip? Maybe I have to do it here. Collected an item. No, mm. I, I collected a catnip. Oh you god! An item. How do I select? What? Did I take the catnip? I said take, and it said catnip. Yeah, and it had catnip on the screen. I want to use the catnip because they said there's a cat nearby. Oh, did it? Yeah, he said the cat's. Oh. The okay. cat's somewhere. Hmm. You haven't selected an item. How do I select an item? Did I not take an item? It was listed there. It was briefly. Maybe go I back to, to go where back you found out. It. <laughs> That's Maybe. the thing about these games. It's yeah, like, did I not pick specific. it up? Oh, for God's sakes, did I not pick it up? <laughs> it was outside. Go back to where she is. That's the front. Backwards. You yeah. have to go backwards. That's where the catnip was. There. Now you have catnip. There I've taken it. I had oh, to hit it twice. Oh, I see. Okay. First it shows what is there, and then you select. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. So there's German version, a Polish version, and an English version of this game. Um, in Polish, I think, give is gib. Myself. Oh, where does it show a kitty? I don't see a kitty anywhere, though. Oh, maybe it'll. What monster would throw out a perfectly good cat? <laughs> Sounds like a line from something. Uh. Okay, can I take the cat back? Can yeah, I take you'll have the to cat? take the cat. Maybe look. Maybe take. Maybe the cat just 
Okay, it just went. said I've, I've lured the cat to myself. Oh, okay, so you have the cat, I guess. The game contains more than 40 load, uh, forty loaded from disc locations. Oh, from the look on her face, you can see, okay. Talk to her again. Oh, you have the cat, there you go. Lucy, comforted by the pet's company, offers Yay! you a flashlight in return. Flashlight. It won't be the flashlight use. We haven't found anything as dark yet. Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, maybe talk to her first. I meant to take. Nope. I don't know if she offered it. Do I have it? Uh, maybe go take. Oh, she's saying the same stuff. Mission accomplished. You've won the game. Exactly. Yeah. We rescued the cat. <laughs> and why else am I here? Hundred percent completion. Yeah. <laughs> Activate the cat. Cat, activate! <laughs> Hi. Oh. He says, I'm busy. Don't bug me. Unfortunately, there's no list of what you have, so I, no. I'm assuming I have it? Yes. Because it didn't is... show cat and it didn't show catnip. We put out all the fires here. Maybe he wants a flashlight? You can try. Missing some tools. Maybe no, he but he, he needs a... I don't know. Oh, you have... Oh, maybe the catnip is... Left and right. Oh, maybe I need to get rid of the catnip. Throw it out throughout the catnip, do you think? And then get the oh, flashlight? Maybe, but you happen to have the cat... Oh, there it is. So oh. you have to scroll through it like I thought. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't think you need the catnip anymore, but... Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Have you explored outdoors completely? No. Okay. No. I just I saw catnip and went, the cat's in the room, so let's go uh, deliver the cat. And as you say... <laughs> Mission accomplished. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> achievement unlocked. Cat rescued. Ten achievement oh, points. Gas mask. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. I, I saw that. I was like, oh. Oh, you should look in every room, I guess. Oh, that'll yeah, that'll get you into the place where. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Place where there's fire, I guess. But again, there we go. Interface takes a little getting used to. It does. It's fine. It's Once you know what to, what to do with it, yeah. And uh, you can save the game also. Go put on a gas mask and enter the room to your left. Nice. Ooh, new room. What are those things? Fire extinguishers? Nice. You can put out the fire now. And maybe some books. Flat earth book. Okay. Pale blue dot book. Fire extinguisher. Maybe you want the books too? Probably not, but there might be something in them. I would take them anyway. I don't know if I always a... take them as long as you can keep keep taking things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The room's empty now, right? Of things. Oh, now you can uh, put out the fires. Use a fire extinguisher. It uh, has a very, very quick debounce. <laughs> it's like, don't hold down the button for very long. Yay. Yay! Now some more rooms will open. Oh, more fires. All fires. Oh, you should go back and use the fire extinguisher again. Says Where? Because it, it's the uh, same place you were just at. You think you need to use it Because it said more? all fires. Oh. No. It, Weird. There must be fire extinguishers in other places. 
Tor is blocked. Throw a book at it. That's it? That's all you give me? Maybe he wants a flat earth book. Maybe. says tools but uh <laughs> what kind of crap is this <laughs> We haven't really gone outside completely. No. Something about that trash can. I bet you throw stuff out in the trash can. Oh, maybe. Like there's nothing to take. Right. Activate the trash can? No, you tried that, I think. Uh, oh, that's where you go I at see. the end of the game. Okay. Oh, stiff neck. Mm hmm. save load the other way oh there's three directions one to the trash can right yeah that's uh, the catnip and, the, and then the gate transformers gate lookout yeah cat oh, okay but then the gate is locked oh, okay so you need a key and i can't go and that's left. where you turn on the power I can't go forward so i can just go back okay so it's inside the building unless there's something of the trash can we're missing There's doors, but maybe give her the flat earth book. <laughs> maybe it'll distract her and you can get by her. <laughs> no. Maybe she wants catnip. Very sensitive. Okay. <laughs> Activate Lucy. <laughs> Something here. I can put the gas mask on again. Yeah. Maybe there was more? Oh, maybe you have to get another fire extinguisher. No, that one's I have empty. one. I have one. Oh, okay. I don't think... Nothing. Mm. Look again. Bookshelves. Nothing to get, eh? It's a dead end. Put out all fires first. Uh, so there are fires, but I'm not sure where. Gas fumes. Okay. And you can't get by it. Any hints from the uh, audience? 
Anybody can think of something that we're missing? Maybe we didn't look in every room. Maybe it's that. Maybe the door is something to do with the door. Ugh. No hints here, Captain Man 2D says. Can throw one of the books. Yeah. Like use one of the books to prop it open. No. There's some games where I've just tried everything, every combo in every room just to get by it. I did not see did you use the fire extinguisher? We did, and it yeah. did, did say it did something, but it didn't St fully put it out. It says you have to extinguish all the fires, but you can't use it a second time. Hmm. Back to him. Yeah, because he hasn't given anything yet, has he? No, he says you have to bring everything back to him. Oh, okay. But this door is blocked. I feel like we need to figure out how to get through that door. Yeah. Then there's the gas mask. Try the elevator now? It's going to say it's out of order still because there's no power. Right. And you've been all four directions from here? Yeah. Oh, not back. Oh. oh, see, that's backwards. Yeah, oh. that's a little weird. Yeah. What's in the lockers? Torque wrench. There we go. Uh, closed. Okay. Activate locker. doesn't say locked, it just says closed. Yeah, you can't use the locker. Well, the guy needs tools, and I'm guessing the torque wrench is what he needs. Yeah. yeah. It's a very specific word, closed. Do you want a torque wrench? Some tools. Hmm. Crowbar for the door. Wow. <laughs> oh, a robot. Look. This unit has a faulty calculation module. Smoldering. Now we can put out all the fires. No, oh, you can't go backwards. <laughs> no, that's... You Some UI tweaks. It. Some Yay! UI tweaks would help, help a lot if you can like go back yeah. and forth. You put out the fire. Didn't change the picture, though. Oh, he wants something. Yeah. Now you can go back to that other So then there's hallway. a left and a right. Oh, okay. What is this? You're in the rocket calculation department. Hmm. The scientist calculates the rocket's flight trajectory on a calculator. Take calculator. Don't touch my calculator. <laughs> Maybe he wants something for it. The Flat Earth book? Hmm, interesting. Ah. Now can you take calculator? <gasps> Yay! Yay! Use beer! Use beer! <laughs> apply, apply beer to mouth. Use beer! <laughs> <laughs> my turn. All right. You, you got stuff you want to do? I'm going to come back with a beer. Thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you for that suggestion, Captain. <laughs> Oops, not take. 
Oh, why did it blank out? No beer? Well, you can go back. You put the robot's alertness down. What is in this room? Storage room. Boots! Oh, we've got our first thing. You notice a bunch of wires sticking out of the wall to the right. So, we'll take the boots. We will use the boots. Can we put them on now? That we... Oh, we... No. Weird. Uh, let's look again. Oh, not activate. Very sensitive. Oh, what? You see... Did I not take them? Oh, I didn't select them. No. What? Weird. You see, you see shelves with boots on them. Notice a bunch of wires. Okay. And so I did take the boots. Nice clear font in the game. Yeah, very good font. Color. It's a bit purple. Oh my goodness. So annoying. Uh, I can't use the boots. I mean, there's some wires sticking out of the wall. I can't take. Can't give. Catnip? <laughs> Crowbar? Item can't be used here. Okay. So we've got boots. I don't think there's anything else we can do there. Oh, now it's showing the boots when you move out of the way. Refuses to let you through. What's wrong with the robot? I, I helped you. Oh, calculation in progress. Um, flat earth, catnip, flashlight, crowbar. You hit an occupied robot with a crowbar. Got it. Oh, got the suit. Let's look first. Space suits are hanging in the room. Taking the space suit. Um, that's it. That's all that's in this room. Now it should show up with the suit. There we go. A CPU dropped out of the robot shell. Uh, it's always good to check things out. Oh, double click, but I wanted to do it anyway. Oh, nothing to look at now. So I've got a CPU. Um, have I done everything here? Let's take a this look at this guy. Got busy reading the book. Okay. Doesn't want to talk. Got a bunch of stuff now. Um, what's in this room? Can't do anything here yet. What'd you find? Anything more? Did you pry Boots open? Boots a suit. <gasps> Ooh, hoo -hoo, good job. You pried it open? And CPU? CPU. Where'd you get the CPU? And oh, robot. that's for the robot. Uh, yeah, he. you hit the robot with the crowbar. CPU falls out. Oh, really? Um, you also get past him. Oh, really? Um, magnetic card. Mm. Nice clear font. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go back to the scientist now. He, need, he wants everything, I think, but... All at once, right? Mm -hmm. Come see me when you've dealt with the crisis at the complex, and when you've collected spacesuit, backpack, boots, and launch codes. Well, I've got the suit and the boots. Just need a backpack. And the launch codes. And the launch codes. Uh, it's There's a helmet, at. too, but... Yeah, he didn't say anything about a helmet. This is super cute. I'm really enjoying this, by the way. This is, like, everything I loved in old games. Yes. I love games like this. I love point-and-click games. My friend had one on her Apple. I don't know what version, what Apple she had. What game but was we, it? it? I don't know. It was like a point and click like mystery game. Mystery. Oh, and it okay. was in, it wasn't King's Quest no, or Space Quest. It was like or... you were walking around a neighborhood and you're trying to solve um like a mystery. I can't remember, but I remember spending a lot of time with her playing that game. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Okay. Mm through the doors unless you want to go outside what? oh no the doors Straight. go to the robot yeah isn't did you see everything around the robot yeah i did are you sure yeah you put out all the fires in all the rooms yeah oh here we are okay i've got a key card which i think i can get into that complex now what complex this. oh this door yeah 
because um, use. Mm, I know it's needs sensitive. Needs a bit more time before it. Uh, oh what? I would have thought that that would work. Amazon Queen? No, <laughs> that's not the game. They're trying to guess what game oh, it was. Oh, I know. It's don't a, don't guess. I have vague memories of it. I'm I was quite young. It's like a realistic game, right? It was like a realistic game. Okay. It was an Apple computer. I, I'm sorry, I don't know Apple at all. Just Apple. White yeah. and black screen, like screen, no color. Oh, really old Apple. Really old Apple. Apple two. Apple two. Yeah. Maybe. Because Apple two C is a color one, and Apple just plain old Apple's no chance that she yeah. Did that. Um, and it was like, yeah, oh, it was a screen two. by screen game like this, where you clicked right. on things, and then you found things. With a mouse? Yes. Okay. With a mouse. I just have a vague memory of it, and it was very stylized, like very 80s stylized game. Who wants a CPU? I don't know. Well, something needs a CPU to activate or work. Yeah. Are you sure there wasn't something you couldn't get past around the robot? No, I'm full. He's deactivated. And you, you did all the back arrows because that's those are always the things that. Oops. Yeah, I'll go look there again. Um, the back arrows are the hidden. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember Beer Pocock. What the <laughs> game? What, I, I really don't. I but, yeah, I just have fond memories of playing that game with her. <laughs> her dad was my comp my French teacher. Oh, okay. And also did like computers like he 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 uh. um we had some apple computers and i believe we had like commodore 64 for some reason or he did what this is new it needs oh. to be calmed down where are you uh i just went past the burnt area went forward now this is a room oh. all directions oh so the fires were all put out yes ah, that's why there you go you want a cpu talk, talk. Oh, i can't give him anything talk to him Come closer. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, oh looks angry. angry. Madness. <gasps> no, nothing. I'm freaking out. Toyskiov's toy toast. Toyslovsky's formula. formula has an error. Give me something to calm down. Oh, now I can give it to him. Uh, a CPU. Oh, no. <laughs> you want a catnip? <laughs> Um, hmm, what would calm him down? What kind of crap is this? <laughs> oh, I played a lot of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego on my Commodore 64. One of the few games that we bought. Oh. Uh, Carmen Sandiego yeah. and the Impossible Mission games. Oh, you bought that? Yes. Oh, uh, no wonder you played it so much. I had one and two, I, yeah, and, and uh, Carmen Sandiego as well. I think oh, you they had were original. Uh, Impossible Mission 2? 1 and 2. You bought it. Oh, okay. And I, I, I completed both of them. Although I tried Impossible Mission 2 not that long ago. Terrible. <laughs> Just terrible. Like, one, I have a lot of memory of the rooms and, and how to solve them. Mm, but two, the wants, so. oh, that was hard. Fun and educational. It was great. I love Carmen Sandiego. Stand in front of a whiteboard, you see scissors, which the professor angrily jabbed into the board. What's okay. missing in Tuskyoff's toy... No, I can't see that. Oh. What? Did you take the... He kicked me out. Okay. Oh, you have to solve it. Yep. Oop. I can get back there pretty quick. I know how to get there. Mm. If he Talk thinks to the Professor rocket Freeman, maybe. If he thinks the rocket equation is wrong, he'll believe the flat earth. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe I didn't give it. No, I did give it to him, didn't I? Did you maybe talk to the other guy, the other professor? <laughs> Oops. Uh, mm, no. Because he wants you to solve it, right? Because I have, I have a chance to do something here. Can you take the scissors? I do want to take the scissors. <gasps> there you go. Um. What's missing? Oh, oh, oh there you okay. go. You got choices. Speed of light. So velocity uh, equals. I don't know what W is. Mass one over mass nothing. I don't know. Well, we'll click well, to the right. Sorry, what, what was are your the options? formula about? It didn't. Oh, he didn't say what kind of formula. Oh. Planck's constant. Oh, jeez. 
speed it's of light. It's been so long since I... A heart in the... Do not, no, heart is not a, a thing. Divide by zero? Probably not. A natural logarithm. Uh, uh, lawn? Pi number? Probably... N I don't know that formula. Does anybody know V equals W multiplied by M1? Log, Chalcedony Mouse says. Log, okay. log, is it really natural log? Okay. Ah! I'll get back there. Thank you. Natural log. Log of N. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll solve that equation. Excellent. I'm sure, I'm sure people would play this game and just go, phone, what is the answer? <laughs> Yep. Yay! Yay! Like Thank old, you! Test old, school, out. old school speaker sounds yeah. in this game. It's so <laughs> yeah. good. That's what's missing, he says. Now he's calm. Has panicked. He needs to calm down. Well, let's see if he's calmer now. Madness! Oh, what? Did Still I Still get... wants something to calm him down. Okay, well, let's go back to the board then. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah. You don't get anything, though. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. It's too dark to enter the room. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, thank you very much for that. My physics was a long time ago. Let's, <laughs> let's use the uh, flashlight. Go into this room. Mm. You're in the back office. You see a box with keys. Wow. You see some writing on the cards and something that appears to be a map. Ooh, I want a map. Take uh, the map, please. Ooh. Gate key. Oh, ha -ha. we can get and fix the transformer. A password. <gasps> yeah, oh, take this that is a good too. Room. Oh, it's a... There's no key? What? You see a box with keys. I got the keys. You see some writing on cards. Hmm. Oh, the map is the password, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oops. It's going to get me into trouble one of these days. Mm. I think got everything, because I've got keys. Mm -hmm. And cards. Use? Can you use? No. No, I bet the CPU is for the transformer. Uh, yeah. Atari Den is very com comfortable. Oh, he's, he's a super little, comfortable. He's a little prince prince cat on his on his princely pillow. We need <laughs> velvet pillows for these kids. Oh, velvet oh. pillows. I mean, that little black cat is already velvet, so he's a little velvet pillow himself. So are you, little gray pillow. I think I've got everything here, so let's go... Is, is that, that literally a visible map in the art? Maybe, maybe that is giving you a hint. That's a good point. Uh, let's go look at it again. It's not much of a map. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to remember that. It's not much to it. Looks uh, like an om. Let's try know. and activate something. Right. I think I've, I, I picked up two items in here. That's pretty good. Can um, go backwards? Yeah. yeah. So let's go to the room with the wiring because I think I can cut the wiring with the scissors now that's not it where's the room with this the wiring is it straight uh, oh I think it's you should go out um, to the transformer as well. I will. And put the power back on. That's not where I want to go. It's to the right, I think. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I think it's in with the with the um, robot to the right. Straight. Yep. Yeah. I haven't seen the robot area. Because mm, they made a, a point of pointing out the wires that are sticking out. Hopefully this is not one of those games where we can make mistakes. <laughs> and die? I knew it. Maybe you need the wires. Can you take the wires? Uh, oh, right. It might be... I bet uh, you need them. I bet you need them. No, I can't. No? Okay. Nothing. Never mind. Maybe Damn you've it. already taken them. 
Uh, maybe. Let's yeah. use. Because you're cutting them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ha, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go out. Outside, use the key card now. Or the keys. You have entered the transformer station site. Tread carefully. Uh oh. You have taken the right path. In which direction will you go now? <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Forward, left, or right? Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's a pretty. Oh, the right. The, oh. the map went to the right. It went do do to right, the right. Forward, and, left. Yeah. Right. Forward. It was like forward, right. Oh, I don't know. You, you figured out. Oh my out. god, now I don't know. You've taken the right path. Then you want to go left. I already went And then forward. forward. You went forward. I did it. It worked? <laughs> yeah. Main power switch. Woot! Yeah, map! Box. Map! Visible map in the air! Yeah! Box is locked with the magnetic lock. Thank you for pointing out that visible map. Nice. Um... These games are so much fun. I, 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 and I, like I said, I remember playing it with a friend, which made it more fun because we were trying to figure it all out together. Short circuit broke the wire. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Two people can yep. bypass. I think it's working now. Or I have to activate it. Yes. No, it's, it's working. cool thing about this one noise. is it makes sense. A lot of the old adventures could get, well, yeah. you know, pretty <laughs> obscure. It's, and you're it's, like, it's you have to use that with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. They were trying to get a little too creative and it would oh, just get... CPU? No. No? Oh. I think I'm done. I did want to go blue when you did that, so maybe it is. Okay. No. Oh, Back thank out you. to the safe path. There you That's go. That's good. Okay. So... Talk to the girl now? Oh, because the power's back on. Oh, it should be. Percef Professor is panicked and... Okay. Oh, that's it now. Yep, so she doesn't power's talk about the power. Power's not off anymore. Talk to the guy and... Oops. Uh, the panicked person? Yes, the panicked guy. There we go. Or the Oops. other guy. The oh, this is the guy that's panicked about the power. He wants something to calm down. Does he want catnip? <laughs> I gave him catnip already. Uh, hmm. Try catnip again. <laughs> I don't think I have anything new that I haven't um, had. Unless that thing gave me something. CPU pass password. No, what's the password? Mm. Oh, I have the password. Who wanted who wanted the password? The guy at the end. But you need the you need the. What was the other thing you needed? Gloves. Backpack. And scissors. Mm. Yeah, I mm. don't think this guy is the right person. <laughs> Use spaghetti on codfish. She found the magic lamp. Yeah, yeah exactly. They were yep. so stupid. I, I really hated those when you're like, oh, come on. No one would ever have guessed that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go back to the other professor. Yeah, go with the other Cause guy. Because he might dude. give me something. Yeah. Which way is it? Right? And right. And then right. Yeah. And, oh, the elevator should be oh, working now. Yes. That's where I need to go first to get the last piece. No. Back. Stop it. You have to activate it. Yay! New area! Server room. First aid kit. Oh, maybe... Mm. Server shut down. He needs something to calm him down, so it's probably in this first aid kit. Yep. Ah, he needs some yeah. pills. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. 
Um, but this is the server room. Power failure, so I used the CPU. How many times has that happened? <laughs> CPU for the server. Yeah. Chelsea don't know. You fix a server. Ah, uh, it's so now simple you to can... so simple to fix servers. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Now I can go calm down that dude. You need some pills, dude. Take a chill pill. Give pills. Oh. You get the codes back. Da, da, da. We're going to win the game. We're going to win the game. Actually, I should talk to him. Because people change what they yes, say. Yes, they do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Nope. He's just done. He's he's out of it. He now. just has madness in his eyes <laughs> it's now. It's just madness. Just general madness. <laughs> Generalized madness. Yeah. So talk to her? Does she, yeah, she'll probably change what she says. No, I think we're done. I think it was the other guy you were supposed to go back to, but you're still missing something, I think. I am. Mm. Can you talk to her? No, no she's done. Mm. Uh, so. So you had a he? magnetic card. What else do you have? Um, backpack. Yeah, you need a backpack, I, I think. Yeah. The I've magnetic used that. card. I've used that. Have you? I've used that. So you've used it. I don't everything. haven't used password. But yeah, but you need that. Use that. Use that. Okay. I haven't used scissors. Oh yeah, I've used that. Uh, launch codes, I need that. Okay. I feel like yeah. We'll see what he says. Talk to him. <laughs> the crisis. So I just need backpack. Well, you need That's to get it. the backpack from him. So what does he want? You have a suit, when, backpack, and boots. When you've collected. So you need a backpack still. Yeah. And the, you'll have the launch codes. What did he want? He wanted a crowbar? No. No. Scissors? Hmm. Give him the scissors? Does uh, he need I that use... to fix his backpacks? Or... No. Or do you have to get it off the wall? Go back, go back a level. Uh-huh. Look Six. in the room. Oh, my God. <laughs> that happens all the time in these games. All the time. Yeah. Crisis is dealt with. Take my helmet. Oh, my God. There we go. We are done. We've got you all the pieces. Helmet? Yeah, it shows oh, up. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, uh, it shows up after you move. Like after you move. So it's a bit like... Um, now you can leave? Yep. Theoretically. I've got everything. <gasps> moon Oops. quest! Moon quest! Moon quest is completed. We're going to go into space. I don't know what the garbage can's for. Probably for a Flat earthers are not allowed. What does it say? I have to get rid of that book. Oh, throw it out. Use use the garbage. Ignorance crap goes yeah. in the garbage. <laughs> Funny, that's good. The trash that is right hilarious. There. Space rockets waiting for you. The end. <laughs> Has to load something special. Listen to that load. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a exciting. long. It's very exciting. It's a long load, kitten. <laughs> <laughs> he just woke up and oh. stirred. Oh, black. Error. Oh, my goodness. There's more. Uh, you've come to the launch pad. You need uh, to launch a rocket and go to the moon. You need to recharge the batteries, fold the platform, refuel, and run the procedure. Oh, what? my God. <laughs> you stumble on something metal. A lever. Okay. Part two. Part two. Yeah, it is part two. Render goes space. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Should we continue? Or... I don't know. We could save and continue it another time. We I'm can't quite. Save, I don't think. It, it says you can if you go back. To... Oh well, maybe not now. Um. No. At the um. The last spot. I think it's another save point. Uh, save. I don't think it can save on the AVG card. Oh no. Um... Select to save. 
That would be nice. We can keep going. Um, no. Nah. Uh, it's pretty late. We can, I don't know. <laughs> Does this work? Does Do we know work? how much further it is? Because well, if it's it going to be long... It's probably another round half because okay. it says 40 well, spots. Well, let's hope it's saved and we can come back to it because I think it'd be really fun to, to finish well, it. Let's see if it uh, saved. <laughs> and dead. No. <laughs> I don't think it did, but squish, squish that cat head. I love the loading noises. Start. Hopefully there's a load option, but probably it won't work. Because what we're loading from right now yeah. is an image of a disc. And unless it's altering that image on the AVG card, the it's not saving it, right? No. Option load. Option load. Yep. No. No. Didn't do it. Oh, I just loaded. Sadness. That's okay. That's okay. I it's think it would have been a good long. Game. It's very good. Highly recommend people give it a whirl. And um, you know what? We don't need to give away the whole no, game to people right. so they can play it themselves too. That's right. Yeah. Very good. So, of the seven games, <laughs> can you remind? Yeah, remind me of the games because we were asked which one we like the most. Yes. Well, we won't rank them. But, well, um, I don't want to rank them, but I'll see what my favorites were. So it was uh, Retro Jump, which was very fun. Mm -hmm. so jump, jump, jump. I think you liked um, that one a lot. I, I did. Yeah. Uh, there was Dark Keep, which was um, running around, mm -hmm. um, getting gold. Yep. Um, thank you, Dan. Um, Pac-Man Evolution, which mm -hmm. was a great Pac-Man version. Very good Pac-Man. Uh, version. Yeah. Die Heritage Edition, great puzzle game. I want to keep playing. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I will solve level six. Arcadia, <sighs> which, uh, what was that one about? That name is not very descriptive. Let me go back to it. Oh, Z the Zuma one, where you're shooting the, the balls. Very good implementation of that game. Were you matching yeah. the colors and the I balls? actually thought that was really, really well done. Really, really well, well done. Really well done. The Marble Train. Marble Train, yeah. yes. Um, Very good variety of games. Bunny Hop, super cute. Great graphics and sound. Mm -hmm. I get why it was ranked number one. Just, uh, But it wasn't my favorite game. No. Because it, it's kind of a simple mechanic. and, and, and the, the I can see why developers and people really into well, it would be like, wow, this is, this is really good. Having yeah. backgrounds, it's beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. But of, 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 for actual for gameplay, gameplay, I don't think it's my favorite. No. That's what I'm ranking on as well. Yeah. I'm ranking gameplay. Gameplay. For it, for how advanced that is, that's yeah. a really advanced game. Um, Moon Quest, that's a... The interface is a little... A little... A little quirky. Yeah. It could be polished, um, uh, but the gameplay is excellent. Like, the story, I think the rooms, the I think it hit me right in my nostalgia gut. Yeah. Like, it just... I was like, oh, this is fun. I, I could play this. I could keep playing this. I had a lot of fun with Arcadia. Which um, was Arcadia again? The, the, the train, marble train. That was excellent. It was so polished. That was such a polished game. Ooh. I actually think that comes out top for me. I Moon Quest is is a very close second because I was really enjoying it. I was really, enjoying but it I think too. it has a few little flaws in there. Whereas Arcadia is like just a wonderful implementation of that Zuma style game. It's hard, and it's, it's hard, hard to compare all these but you, games. You get so really, it, it gets frantic, and you get into yeah. it really quickly, and like it's a really good game. So I mean, not the most unique game, but like which one? Which ones would you want to play again is a good question. The Arcadia. Yeah, I want to find out all the different power-ups. I want to play Arcadia game. I want to finish Moon Quest. I want to finish Retro Jump and finish level six. Yeah, I, I'm not as... Like, it's fine. I, I've played other games like it. I think it, that hits you in yeah. the... as Like I say, in Nostalgia. the nostalgia gut. It's yeah. like, oh, I got to play this. Um, I don't know. They're all so good. 
Yeah, I could play I Arcadia could play, again. I could play a lot of them again. Like, none of them I wouldn't play. Dark Keep felt one note. It was really cool. Yeah. But it needed something More. level to level. And yeah. so it something just became to change. the same. Yeah. Um, but I loved how it looked. Oh, it beautiful. looked beautiful. Um, so it has less re replayability, I think. And I don't think we explored um, fully Pac-Man Evolution. I no, we only played two, two of two the different levels, offered yeah. levels. But I think of them... Retro Jump and Arcadia. I Arcadia, think. Ar Arcadia Moon Quest for me. Arcadia Moon Quest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would love to finish Moon Quest. But I would love to finish I think it's Arcadia and, and Retro Jump. But all, right. all of them were excellent, actually. Really good. Really good. I can, like, it's amazing. I'm really excited for the <laughs> next round of games because if they're there's as good, good as those, then they're going to be fantastic. Like, they're all going to be fun yeah, games. There's so. some good ones there. Yeah. And I just picked ones for this show that were, that available? were available. Yeah. There, there's a couple that are available as well beyond this. I hope they're available by Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're doing we'll something do, else. We'll do as many as we can. I do want to finish them all off at once. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, lots of fun. Very, very um, good. Thank you for... All of those games were excellent. Staying with us for yeah. uh, three hours, almost. Small show. <laughs> well, two and a bit. I get, we've two, had longer. 245. When we were, were going through all the Atari games, those were some really long shows. Yes. I, I was having the whole, like, hey, hey, hey. losing energy, regaining energy. <laughs> Who's Who, counting? No one's counting. Yeah, Hopefully exactly. everyone's enjoying themselves. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people stuck around. Yeah. Uh, oh, the results of the poll. Oh, d were you able to uh, get them? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I can sh show them. That's okay. You can announce it. Let me try. Okay. It's really hard to see. I know. Oh, it's, yeah, faint, 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 faint. But it should be able to see it. Um, so nobody picked button always jump. <laughs> People picked button shoot because mm. it's the fire button, like somebody said. Mm -hmm. uh, button for the most used action in the game was everyone else. So it was I, a close I, second. I, I, psst, get out of the batteries. No, no. <laughs> Look at those eyes. <laughs> I think uh, this makes a lot of sense. Button, button most used for action in the game. That's yeah. what I picked. And button always shoot. Yeah. Um, I can I can see that. Like you're shooting. I... Shooting is a natural thing for buttons. Uh, up is used for climbing ladders, and up for jump makes sense because you're moving up. You're jumping up. Well, what else are you gonna shoot with? I I think if you have one button, it has to be shoot. But yeah. I do not enjoy the up for jump in most games. Yeah. But, but if you have to shoot have and jump, what are you going to do? You have one button. You're going to shoot with You're it. You're going to shoot with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I think it makes sense to me. Yeah. So the, both of those options make a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Chelsea Donnie Mouse says it doesn't make sense, sense in a, a non-shooty non game. Yeah. I, I, I don't like the up to jump. But if you have to shoot, the button is prioritizes but the shoot. But Robot Zed, he picked up for shoot. Um, button for jump, but there's a lot more jumping mm. in that game as you make True. your way through the maze. So yeah. I would rather you like. And Tanya doesn't like moving the controller to jump in an isometric perspective either. Yes. It's <laughs> not. No isometric perspective. Does not work well with isometric games. I don't know. My brain just goes no. It just <laughs> says no. It says I don't want to. I don't want to adjust to this. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's coming up is some pretty exciting things, actually. Um, so we probably will be doing part two on Tuesday. Oh, don't quote that. Uh, tracks, uh, something in German, Der Schrenker, Der Schrenker, Der Schrenker 2, mm -hmm. uh, Battle of Eris, mm -hmm. Break It 2022, and Binary Paradise. Binary Paradise is out. Parasite. Parasite. Parasite sorry. Binary <laughs> Parasite. Parasite. Binary Parasite is out. Trax is out. Uh, I can't remember if the others are out, but I know two are out, and those two are excellent games. Well, oh, my God. Well, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you can get the others. What we could do is, oh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. I mean, is it possible it. they will never be released? Because I'll just ask them. I'll ask the developers if they're going to release them. Yeah, because okay. they are out there. Okay. For for the magazine people, yeah. so I'll, I'll just ask the developers if I can get a copy. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Just to play it to show it off on the mm. show, even if they're not going to post it, um, just to show it. Um, but next weekend, not mm. this weekend, next weekend is Atari Age Day 2022. 
Uh, yeah, it's come up already. <laughs> How did that come up so fast? Uh, we are going to be doing a two-part show, six hours each day. Next weekend, eh? Next weekend. Okay. Don't clear your schedule. Uh, it's starting at noon Pacific time, mm -hmm. so the normal early show time. Uh, we're going to be unboxing 24 games and talking to all the developers of those games, mm -hmm. every single one of them. Uh, so very exciting. We've got 2,600 games, 7,800 games, 5,200 games, and Jaguar games as well. So we'll be popping them in. Well, Tanya will be playing them. <laughs> I'll be talking to the developers. It. It's a great uh, we'll probably be doing it upstairs. <laughs> yeah. I want to do a green screen thing, make it look all fancy. Oh, okay. We're going fancy. We're going to sit on the couch, put the green screen behind the couch. Okay. Okay. Yep. It'll be a lot of fun. Right. Gonna have to move everything upstairs. Um, but, but we have a computer upstairs. We have now, a computer upstairs. So that actually very fast. Massively helps. Oh my god. Yeah. So much helps so much. Yeah. We may still have to do. Are we are we having tech support? Is there anyone coming? Oh no, to help it's us? just a single camera. Is it okay? No, no, okay. no it's fine. Okay. Totally fine. All right. Um, we always need tech support for the, the awards. Awards, yes, because I have to That's stand there. That's a whole other that's ball a whole game. Thing. Yeah, whole yep. other ball game. Um, and then, uh, so that's Saturday and Sunday. So definitely be there for that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. You can ask the developers questions. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be talking to people we've never talked to before, I believe, on the show. Mm. Um, after that, we'll be playing Cartesian Chaos, which is extended into two players. Tunnels of Hyper Hyperion, which is VHC's game. Oh, it's in release candidate, which means it's functionally done. Oh, awesome. Everything's there. All His the release are candidates are always like oh, super fantastic. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. um, yes. And then in uh, December, we'll be taking a couple weeks off. Don't know how long, don't know yeah. when. Around Christmas, but probably. around uh, yeah, around the holidays. Well, we'll New throw Year. a holiday up a uh, show in there somewhere. So I need to prepare for the Atari yes uh, uh, Homebrew Awards, mm -hmm. um, which starts in and starts in January first, pretty much. But I have to get things going mm -hmm. for then for that. Um, in late November, we're going to be having our early December the Uno Plus Cart Special with some live interviews with mm -hmm. some incredible developers um so that's gonna be a lot of fun finding out what's brand new not been released yet for the uh, uno cart and plus cart some very very uh excellent stuff for that uh so thanks for hanging out with us for abb uh abbuc mm -hmm. uh part one some excellent games wow there's a really lot of, really good games a lot of talent really fun in the atari super scene. super fun yeah, yeah. So thanks for uh, being here and uh, playing, hanging out, hanging out yeah. and helping us with the games yes. and with little hints here and yeah. there. Yeah, that was uh, fun. Ivory Tower Collections, Chelsea Don Mao, Rendered Ghost, Atari 2600, Do, Dan, AVC, BR Pocock, um, Neo Media, Cafe Man 2D, Old Style, uh, Chit, Chit Lit -ta? Lit La, Chit Lit La. There Chit -la. we go. Okay, that's a new person. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Snicklin, don't recognize that name. No. Either. Also, welcome. I see. Yeah. Might be some eight-bit people. Excellent. Uh, Carl G. Um, yep, yeah. Yeah. That was the first time chatter. Yep. Yeah. Al Nefer uh, in there. Al Nefer. Who else? think we covered oh, oh did i see somebody metal lunar, metal lunar seven. seven yeah and I that's it uh so everybody have a great weekend oh, yeah and um yeah. take it easy play check some out some of these games. games if you like yeah. some of these 8-bit games go and download them they're yep. all available in the atari age forums every single one of them really yep so if you want to finish the moon, uh, moon, moon quest, quest uh, so much fun. So, so much, much fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing that is like uh, Space Quest continuation and Police Quest. So they're like Moon Quest. And Moon Quest. <laughs> I mean, those those you walked around in, but they're yeah. similar type games where yeah. you're talking to people and stuff. Yeah. Um, so have a great weekend and thanks for hanging out with us. We'll yeah. see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. bye, -bye.